Wah, it's us. Wah. Uh, hello, it's it's my turn to play video games again, so we get to play games no one's ever heard of. Yeah. <laughs> As is tradition. <laughs> As is the tradition, the royal tradition. Uh, we're playing Super Sammy Roll, which is a 3D platformer. I just, let, let me, I want to assume, just from looking at this picture, right... You use his tongue to grapple, don't you? Yes. You got it. <laughs> I, I brought another grappling game. This is the sixth grappling game of the year. Sixth grappling game in a row. <laughs> um, that's just one of the mechanics, though. It's not like the main mechanic. Okay, it's not say. like the thing. It might be the thing. I don't know. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I, I had this on my wish list for a while. Uh saw a reviewer I like was like this is a dope game so I went and got it for Christmas and well I didn't get it for Christmas someone got it for me for Christmas but yeah uh, Christmas obtained it Christmas obtation what <laughs> <laughs> also hi Zavun yeah hey Zavun been saying it will be entertaining while closing yeah yeah uh, uh, also hi I'm Dry Archuleta and E is the voice I'm E hello I'm, I'm well he's the goat actually yeah. he's the goat he's not, a vo he's not just a voice He's just no. a voice to me. Uh, <laughs> only the voice <laughs> on Saturdays, because uh, Jiraiya's computer is somehow less powerful than mine. It, just, it needs a new CPU and graphics card and power uh, source and yeah. RAM. So it's basically, it's fine, basically. Yeah, it needs the new uh, <laughs> everything. Oh, and new motherboard. New, yeah. <laughs> new fatherboard. Oh, man, man. It's fatherboard went out for milk one year and just never came back. Lord been just miserable all right well let me get started <laughs> on that amazing he's like note. on that i need to stop <laughs> talking <laughs> i don't know i know i said this last time and it was an insane amount of dialogue i don't know if there's much dialogue in this game good good oh yeah uh so this one has like actually significant modes oh uh, so checkpoints what, no checkpoints and uh, time limit are the three options basically here. I feel like you should just do normal, man. I'm going to normal, yeah. I can also change it later anyways. If I'm like, I'm too much of a gamer. Yeah, you're too good to have more checkpoints. Oh, hey. Oh, sound. my God. <laughs> it really wanted me to know it saves. <laughs> uh, here's, here's the important thing. All right. The sun shines as marshmallow-shaped clouds travel across the clear blue sky. Sammy and Vera enjoy a day on the beach. Oh god, it's an NFT. <laughs> the real villain. Meanwhile, far above the molten sea, the evil Albert VII is in a brooding mood. He's not pleased at the lack of exotic creatures in his collection of stolen relics. Huh. Alright, alright. Fair, fair. Okay, so he's Robotnik. <laughs> Determined to correct this awful situation, he travels far to capture the rarest of pets he can find on his, with his pesky drugs. Sammy and Vera don't see him coming. The crap this, is... This is gonna be Sonic, isn't it? Oh no! Albert the Seventh swoops in and snatches Vera. Unable to react to time, Sammy watches Vera get captured, carried off, vanishing beyond the horizon. That's a good face. <laughs> Sammy. It's pretty good. Very worried about his friend. Vows not to rest until he versus your her from Albert Seven. There we go. Oh, Achievement I unlocked. Didn't I started the three D. What? <laughs> I told you I it was expect... a three D platformer. Yeah, but like I didn't expect like three D. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoa, this is a uh, Toad's Mystery Adventure. <laughs> Captain Toad's <laughs> Treasure Tracker? Yeah, well, no, I can jump. Meow. Oh, okay. Meow. 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 Got a right stick. Meow. Meow. No, that's a adorable sound. Meow. Oh, you already found berries. Meow. Raspberry. Meow. When, when you get, when you, like, get something... Raspberry flavor. Do you say the P in it? Do you say raspberry? Usually not. Depends if it's blue or not. <laughs> Which way does that make it go? <laughs> I did it. 
Hey, yeah, <laughs> you touched that owl. Rank D. Oh, I gotta do that again. Oh no. Oh god. Rank A, I gotta do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. I won't replay most of this. I'm gonna just. All right, so it's just Mario. Now it's, it's Mario, Mario, apparently. And also Treasure Tracker. And also Marble Madness. And also Sonic. You know, let's huh. just say it's its own thing. How about that? I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> How about we don't compare the indie game to a bunch of AAA <laughs> games? And I saw something. Huh. Ah, there's my tongue button. Oh. That was probably what the thing was telling me. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Yo. What's this game called again? Super Sammy Roll. Super Sammy Roll. It sounds like something you'd, like a sushi you'd get at like a weird... Chilies. At <laughs> a weird chilies? And not even just a regular chilies, it's a weird chilies. <laughs> oh. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I probably need to take the balloons back. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna get all the berries, depends if it's this, how annoying they are. Oh, I already have it. Wait. Oh, so you just have to get it and then you're good. Dope, I love when games do that. Nice. I already did the hard part, so why not? Oh yeah, coins give me time. So that's the point of coins. All right. Oh, so that's gonna get you a better, better grade then by getting all the coins. Yeah. Better, well, better grade, and I won't die because <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you <laughs> run out of time, you lose. That's also fair. Oh, you can do better than Natty. Oh wait, yeah. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I want to improve this one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna. All right, so. Uh, as, as is a lot of the games that you, oh yeah, wait, here we go, Spoon got it, Yoshi meets Sonic meets Hello Kitty. I, yeah, oh. there we go, there we go. So I hate this then. Oh my, you don't like Hello Kitty? I don't think I have feelings about Hello Kitty in one way or another. I don't think I know, I, I know Hello Kitty is a cat. Nope, mm -hmm. that's actually incorrect. Okay, well then I know nothing about Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> wait, where's the berry? Is Hello Kitty a person in a cat suit? Hello Kitty is canonically just a person that just looks like that. Oh. Where's the berry? Does everybody look like that? No. Oh. So it's just like a real weird looking person. I think so. Huh. What? <laughs> can you kill those? I don't think I can. Well, that seems ridiculous. Is it in that rock? Is it burying that rock? Maybe. I'm gonna just check every tree <laughs> real quick. It's giving you lots of coin. Yeah. It's cool there's not like a health system. Yeah, I think that honestly is better. I think. So I'm always down when games. Oh, there it is. Oh, there when you go. When games uh, try to mess with. No. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. When games try to. <laughs> And then didn't. <laughs> uh, I, I'm always a big fan when games try to like mess around with established formulas. So like, uh, coins are time. That's kind of a neat idea, and yeah. uh, you don't have to worry about HP while they're Which still. Which is good. That'd be annoying. Yeah. I, I keep getting achievements for. How did I get an S? What? <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Fucking A. I, I don't know why that one's an S, but sure. <clears throat> Did you see all those tree coins you got? <laughs> all right, I got a you know new test. Here we go. Those don't just come out of trees, you know. <laughs> all right. I think it right. means also getting the coins, though. I don't know. You I'll, just quit I'll, the whole game. Oh. No, <laughs> I'll, I'll test that later. <laughs> what was I talking about even? Oh yeah. Uh, Hell Kitty. Yeah. Uh, just kind of a person, basically. Uh, that's what they said last time, at least, you know, with companies like that, they just kind of say whatever the hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, it also helps, because then, like, people don't want to, like, be weird about it. I imagine Hello Kitty is a, uh, a hero in the furry community, not a hero, 
but <laughs> looked upon fondly in like a furry community? Uh, all right, not like as much as others. Who's like the furry Sonic? Thing? Okay, yeah, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Also, this is part F Zero. <laughs> We're just gonna keep adding every <laughs> video game known to man. Yeah. All right. I think. Whoa. Okay. If you hit the direct wow. center, you like super boost, or I don't know what the rules for that. I don't know how you did that. Maybe it's a specific thing about how I grappled on it. Can you like grapple supercharge or something? I think so. Oh, you can jump. Or out is of it like getting really high? Maybe it's. Let me. How did I do that? I don't know. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. Um. Yeah. Anyway, this is. Uh, as with many of my games, this just kind of seemed like a good game to chill and talk about. Talk yeah. to about. Um, I don't know if you saw there was a direct today. I did see that there was one, but I didn't watch it. Um, I've the only thing that I yeah. saw out of it was Metroid Prime Remastered. Yes, remake, remaster, is, something forty bucks, which I think is a fair price for something that uh, yeah. gives you a new control scheme and that okay, you got S plus on that. I don't know how. I it, don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll look it up later. Uh, um. Yeah, so I saw a few screenshots. I didn't see gameplay or anything, but it looked awesome. And the fact that they give you just dual stick yeah, uh, control that's... of it like a normal first person game is awesome. Uh, my uh, friend who is super annoyed that they have not talked about Prime Four in years, uh, yeah. got it. And he was like, "Oh yeah, this is really good. Like, I would just recommend." Oh my god, I got fucking sure you could buy the turtle. Oh god, this one's <laughs> shooting a duke. It's... Huh. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, he did it. He's like, yeah, this is like a really good way to play. And he's like, I might actually recommend you play this over the last one, or wow. the the trilogy I got. The trilogy on uh, Wii, Wii U. Wii, well, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, I know. I mean, I feel like there is a reason to make that distinction, though. Like, it's <laughs> is it? Yeah, because like I have to set up the Wii U if I use oh, the right, Wii U. Oh, right, you have to play a Wii U. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my god, so I was doing Tatsumaki shit. Tatsumaki? Oh, is that what that spinning thing is called? Yeah. Oh. I just always called it the spinning thing. That's fair. I mean, Chun-Li calls it the spinning bird kick when she does one. Oh, okay, great. S++. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'll probably pick that up. Uh, the Kirby Return to Dreamland remake looks really good. And they released, they uh, revealed there's going to be a new mode in it. And I was already down to pay $60 for that remake. And now I'm like, all right, this is definitely worth the $60 for that remake. Which one's Return to Dreamland? The Wii. Have you, have you talked about that one before? I like that one a lot. Um, it's not okay. my favorite, but I like that one a lot. I think it's very, very solid. And I think it's the beginning of Kirby getting really good. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... Okay. What? Whoa. Ah. Uh, anteater? Ant? No, that's a fly. That's a fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want a box of marbles. Ooh. -hoo. Oh wait. All right, I have to come back to that. Oh, uh, you don't have enough coins. But yeah. Also, something cool. So you know, like Kirby has all those like mini games always with it, where like it's the quick mini games. Yeah. Uh, they just decided that they are just gonna make a party game out of them, and like. Instead of just like, here's the mini game and you play a mini game, it's like, hey, here's a bunch of mini games. Uh, like, you can randomize which ones you play and like, it'll go between them. Okay. I think that's a really good choice. <laughs> when? Kirby Party when? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's not hard to set up the Switch. The hardest part is my <laughs> Switch overheats a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Switch is just going to be one of those consoles that, like, if you have a working one in 10 years, you're like, how rich are you? I mean, I don't even know. I, I, I overplayed mine and didn't really give it the proper, uh, aw, like, oh. hair, probably. So, I... I, I, uh, I had mine for three years, and then they stopped putting out games for it. So, I got rid of it. 
they stopped putting out games for it as they revealed 20 new games today. <laughs> <laughs> or for the, the Wii U, I mean, rather. Sorry. Oh, oh. Um, Wait, did you mean the Wii U? I meant the Wii U. Okay. For some reason, when you said Switch in your head, I, I heard Wii U. You, um, I said it in my head and you did that? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm very, I'm very tired. Yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> What the oh, hell is whoa. this? That's Mario. Secret. Come on. How do you get in there? Meow Chew. Meow Chew. Can you like... Uh, you... Oh, shit. Oh, is that how you like super bounce on the things? May yeah, I must have accidentally hit it. Huh. I don't... Oh, I'm still not cool. getting to it, but... You learned a new thing, though. Yeah. Is it dependent on, like, actual, uh, height? Mm, don't think so. I don't know. It's fine. I'll figure it <laughs> out. <laughs> if I want to, I can come back on my own time. Uh, I'm usually not super into, like, uh, breaking my time all the time in these games, but, you know. Right. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't blame you about the Wii U, because, like, yeah, they kind of just gave up. Yeah, and then I had my Switch for like a year and a half, and then I was like, I've played two games, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you sold your Switch, which is weird to me, because it wasn't like it was done, you just decided to sell it. Yeah, I was, I was done. I decided I was done. <laughs> I yeah. played Mario, and I played Mario Rabbids, the first one, and uh, yeah. Legend of Zelda, yeah. and Odyssey. that's all I remember. Yeah, that's other. That's Mario. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> I can't. I actually can't remember like many others. Oh no! Actually, what I did when I did play on it was um, Steam World Dig Two, which I would argue is still one of the best games ever made. I need to play that, man. I was gonna play yeah, on my so 3DS. Good. Do you think I should get on my Switch? Um, I don't know. I don't know what the performance is like on 3DS. Uh, on Switch, it ran really well. Okay, maybe I'll do that. I will say, the Switch is really starting to show its age with some of these new releases. Oh, oh boy, yeah. I have heard horror stories. <laughs> I think I told you, I was, like, I played the Rabbids and there's so much, like, frame issues and, uh, like, pop-ins on that. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I wonder if, uh, Metroid Prime's gonna hold up really well with it. Maybe that's why they just stopped saying stuff. They're like, we need to wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, other stuff they showed off. Uh, another Tears of the Kingdom trailer, which showed nothing basically. Yeah, I'm. I'm you can build a car for it. Ooh, I do like that. And wait, and wait, wait. So this is just nuts and bolts. Yes, actually, it literally looks like how you do it in nuts and bolts. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> there was a part where like it's just a flat plane, and Link's like using the Sheikah slate to fly on it, like it's fucking Gmod. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Good. Um, good. Good. Pikmin 4 looks really good still, like, extremely good. Oh, do they show more of that? Yeah, that was their start, actually. Oh, does it look like Pikmin? Yeah, and it seems All like right. they're, going they're going back to the thing where it's like... Because, you know, Pikmin 3, like, was just fruit, and you, like, got yeah. fruit. They're going back to, like, here's, like, a bunch of toys and stuff you found. Oh, nice. Yeah, that'd be um, cool. The first thing we saw, it looks like it's, like, a kindergarten. Ooh, that would be cool, actually. Yeah. Like, uh, stuck in a giant world, or you're a small person in a giant yeah, world or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so that That'd looks cool. good. A game you've probably never heard about or care about, Fantasy Life, is getting a new entry, and it had one game on the 3DS and one that didn't leave Japan. So me and my friend are so excited to get to play more Fantasy Life. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Uh, Fantasy <laughs> Life Sim. Like, the name is really literal. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love it a lot. Uh, here, let me open it. I gotta open up my Discord of <laughs> what I talked about with my friend now. Oh yeah, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance on Switch. If you have their, I did see the Game Boy thing too. Actually, yeah. yeah. Um, which like that's fine. That's cool. Yeah. Like I'm glad it's finally here. And you know, it's I was I said when I saw it like, ah hmm. Uh, they sure put both of they put all three of the early handhelds. The Switch doesn't have a ton of years left, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Man, like it, it. Honestly, the switch should have been done last year. 
Probably. I think they're I think they are literally waiting on uh <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Whatever their next thing is, I will I will play Tears of the Kingdom on that. What if it doesn't go to that? Then I might never play it. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we'll see how it performs, but I just don't imagine it performing amazingly. It I mean, Breath of the Wild for what it's worth is probably one of the best performing games on the Switch. Except for when it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, like as a whole, I would say it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. There were definitely some parts of it, even even when it first came out, I was like, man, this is fucking chugging. Yeah, it? if you have like 20 enemies, uh, it yeah. sure doesn't like that. Meow. <laughs> um, but I, but I still have Breath of the Wild. Still a great game. Yeah. Um, I like it a lot. Not my favorite Zelda I've talked about. I think I've talked about this a lot, but I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Pik Pikmin 4 also is going to have a dog. Okay. Little Pikmin dog. Oh, oh, it's like a new class of Pikmin? I don't know. It seems more like like a buddy thing you have, but like it's basically a Pikmin that you use. It's like an infinite Pikmin? It's like a big Pikmin. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, so I think that'll be fun. I'm, I mean, it depends how they use it, obviously, but... Sure. I forgot to do the sharing on social media part, so I'm just doing that now. All right, yeah, go do that. <laughs> wow. All right, that was a little ambitious. <laughs> we... Uh, let's see, more stuff you don't care about, Xenoblade DLC, uh, Fire Emblem DLC. The Xenoblade, Xeno, Xenoblade DLC seems weird to me, just like having DLC for that. I don't know why, but that seems weird. I don't know. There's Splatoon DLC that adds Splatoon 1 map, like the, the thing you like get your uh, updates and stuff from every day. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Is Splatoon uh, at the stage where people are like thinking about Splatoon 2 as like nostalgic? No, Splatoon 1. What did I say? It's 2. Oh, I mean 1. Yeah, uh, I think so, literally. I mean, Splatoon 1 is 8 years old now? I guess, yeah, that's true. But like, Splatoon 3 is just better Splatoon 1. Like, it's yeah. not like markedly different, I wouldn't say. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, like, balancing and stuff, there's a lot, obviously, but... Well, sure, but I mean, like... I don't know... If you showed me somebody playing Splatoon, I don't think I could tell you if it's Splatoon 1, 2, or 3. I feel like you would know 1, because it just looks worse. Like, visually. Does it, though? Yeah. Because I feel like that art style carries that a lot. Yeah, but, like, I think, like, a lot of the effects and stuff of Splatoon 1 look a lot worse. Okay, okay. So, I don't know. Then again, like, I tell you, I think if you gave me the Last of Us remaster and the Last of Us normal, I wouldn't tell the difference, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey! Look at that berry. Yeehaw. Uh, I like this owl. <laughs> I'm just curious, like, where it comes to play. Like, <laughs> this, is, this guy was not in the story. <laughs> oh, actually, something I'm really excited about. Ghost Trick HD. Uh, Ghost Trick is the, like, ghost detective type game on the DS, which I would say is just, like, one of the best DS games, period. I think you actually ghost would really like Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick. I think you actually would really like this trick. But I'll give you the premise. Trick. You died, and you get to see about like five minutes in the past to try to prevent something. Okay. Yeah. Um. You can't prevent your own death, but like oh. you follow a person, and you basically have to prevent her death. Oh, okay. Or whoever okay. is gonna get killed in the scene. Um. I love it. I'm. 
I'm so glad they're remaking it in HD because the visuals of that game are great, but like it's on a DS. <laughs> um, so that one I'm how, really cool. How are they going to make it work on not a DS? It's just touchscreen, basically. Like you just oh okay, uh, oh, okay. Touch where you want, or you can like technically use a joystick. Um, okay. Because I don't. If you look at it, I think it'll make more sense how it would work not on a DS. I'm uh, seeing something here. Yeah. They also announced another detective game that I don't really know what that one's about. Detective but... Raichu. No, it was it oh. was called Deck Police. Or something. Deck police? Yeah. It's not about decking police, unfortunately, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was about, like, police who are, like... Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I hit a corner. <laughs> who are, like, policing your deck. No. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Like, a weird... <laughs> Skipping that. This game seems super weird, man. I love it. gameplay. Oh, sorry, Ghost Ghost Trick. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's amazing. I fucking love Ghost Trick. It's probably one of my favorite games. Huh. I I do really think maybe when it comes out, we'll have you play on stream. Honestly. Okay. I do I do I I would be surprised if you didn't end up liking it. I'm running out of time. Back. Oh. <laughs> Achievement for Barely. that. Barely. S. Is it, does, it it work? Your, does it count your jumps? Like, what is it doing here? I don't know. There's some something in the background. Anyways, time to buy marbles. <laughs> Super marble mode unlocked. Do you do you get to be a marble? I am. Oh, good. nice. How do you change? I don't know. You gotta just go to the menu, probably. Maybe I just have it. Maybe. Maybe you're just marbles now. <laughs> the marbles is not <laughs> the clothing. <laughs> oh, you don't even have clothes on. Uh, hmm. Maybe I have to go. I'll figure that out. <laughs> I keep saying that, I know, but oh shit. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> also, they announced like a Mickey platformer game that looks kind of neat but extremely slow. Weird. Yeah. So is Disney like slowly trying to get back into video games? I think, then? I think they are. Um, I'm gonna run out of time and I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I see what it wants me to do. Uh, uh what are, there was Octopath 2 uh Ooh. they're remaking the Katamari uh we love Katamari the sequel. So okay. I'll probably pick that up cuz I like Katamari a lot. Katamari's great. I don't think I could tell you the difference between each one of those either, but I love Katamari. They have different stages and that's all mm -hmm. that matters. <laughs> yeah, just more Katamari. I'm like, I'm like oh, I don't want Breath of the Wild like to just be more Breath of the Wild, but I'm like, fuck yeah, give me just more Katamari. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, Sea of Stars was an RPG, so you wouldn't care. I got a checkpoint I had forgotten. Sounds like they announced a lot, actually, though. They did. It was 40 minutes, and like all of it was a ton of shit. Wow. Um, that's that's so. uh, that's a nice difference from what they've been doing though. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a lull. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, actually, uh, I might actually get the Nintendo Online. Like, I know uh, I can, uh, you know, sail the seven seas and all that. But uh, <laughs> like, it had a lot of good stuff. Like Metroid Two, I've always been meaning to try. Uh, I didn't. I only did the. Uh, AM2R, which was like the fan remake of Metroid 2. Right, I remember you playing that, actually. Yeah, that one's good. Um, I played it before Super Metroid, which is weird, a really weird experience. Playing I, that I thing bet, like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kirby Tilt and Tumble, uh, obviously one of the prime Kirby games. Uh, was that the one what? you had to get, like, the weird expansion pack? Yeah, and you had to tilt the actual cartridge. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I played uh, that one. That one's weird. 
Uh, then let's see, yeah, Prime Remaster. Uh, weird detective game by the Danganronpa people that I probably won't play. Right, right. Mario Kart DLC, but I don't have Mario Kart. And... And they show Zelda. Yep, so that's all. Uh, that's, a lot, that's though. weird you don't have Mario Kart. That's like the game everybody has. I had it on Wii U. Oh, so you just don't want to do it again? <laughs> yeah, and then I sold it on Wii U because I never played it. Mm, so yeah, now I just don't have game, it. Though. Yeah, I love Mario Kart, but like... Come on, this is straight up mario -y. What? This stage. Come on. Look, look at this guy. He's like, wah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fine that it is, but let's not... I'm not this saying it's not... I'm, I'm, say, I'm not... Uh, this is sunshine, first off. <laughs> <laughs> this is clearly sunshine. <laughs> this it can't be sunshine because this seems good. <laughs> I need to play sunshine just so I can either agree or disagree with you on these. Sunshine is like the most, maybe the most broken Nintendo game I've ever played. Uh, man, I don't know. Have you played like the virtual fun games? <laughs> I have not actually. How do you, do you have to like fly on those guys or? You can. Whew. Get cannoned. I think I killed him. <laughs> Help! Oh! I'm back! Save me! Uh -oh. Yeah! <laughs> Just how you're meant to play this game! Yep. <laughs> I hate the sound these cannons make, so I don't know if you hear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hey, you're right here, though. Yeah. Checkpoints are pretty forgiving. Alright, don't bounce off these, apparently. Just normal rolling. Just act like you're Fred Durst. I think he does that song. I don't remember if it's him. Rolling, roll. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Limp Bizkit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think it is. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, like me singing that, I was like, yeah, that's Fred Durst. <laughs> I quit yes. making noises. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Do I talk to him again to, like... Do I... Go to the main menu. Here. Joe! Hey, Super Marvel. Yeah, I could try that. I'll just... I might have to look this up. I don't understand. <laughs> Here, let's let's just check what this is. Yeah. Oh, it's multiplayer. Oh, what? Never mind. We got to do it for a stream now. Yep, now we have to. Don't look at my friend's list. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Huh. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Let me Google it. Yeah, thanks. Super Sammy. Sammy roll. Let's see what the internet says. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's our review. Wow. What? I just immediately just found a very angry review. What? <laughs> People are weird. I'm just going to read you the title of the review. Oh my gosh, yeah. Playing through Super Samuel felt like improvising a DIY root canal. Alright, someone's bad at video games. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'll see you later, but like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that much, dude. It seems a little intense. Pete, it's so funny seeing some reviewers on games. Like, I think I told you after we played Dogarai, like, I looked at that re a reviewer and he was like, this is the like most middle of the road boring game. And I was like, what? That was a fun game. <laughs> people just gotta have an opinion. I guess. Some people should not be allowed. You're right, I shouldn't be. But here I am, baby! Uh... Find anything yet? 
No, there was nothing on the internet about that. Maybe check the Steam page, like the Steam community. Alright. Yeah, <laughs> there's a possibility I just don't have it unlocked or whatever. <laughs> don't look. Okay. I didn't die. I swear. Oh man, some of these people are wearing great stuff. Yeah, how do we do that? <laughs> A lot of weird bugs. That's fair. Oh wow. What's up? Uh, when the game first came out, apparently, there was no option to control the camera yourself. Oh, that's awful. All right, maybe that's <laughs> why the review is so negative, but still. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing anything. -y. Hmm. What are all my... These are all levels. I'm not... Yeah, I don't understand. A closet? Closet? There's a closet option in the menu. Oh! <laughs> Alright. Nice. There we go. Oh, that's cute. It does it in the menu, too. Sand bank parkour. Wow. Parkour, parkour. Looks pretty decent. Yeah, it's a. F this is neat. Speed run. Oh. Oh, I bet you probably could do something with that though. I bet. I bet speed runs in this games are fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. Meow. 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 Oh. Oh no. Nope. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just the constant. <laughs> I like that. What if I just... Life hack. Oh no, another one. Wait, <laughs> oh, this is just for a secret. Oh. Oh. What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is the way to go, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> the double, the butt bounce is a little weird. <laughs> Can't do it till it does the shoot flash. I did not have moment. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Someone playing that uh that Dead Space remake. Oh uh, yeah. I just really have come to the conclusion that nobody played the original Dead Space. What's part about it? Just like the reactions of people or what? Yeah, because everyone's like, oh man, this game is so good. This is how you do a remake. But like, it's not like that different, actually. Like not almost at all. Like all of the parts that are in there were like in Dead Space originally. There's I've... very little added to it, I would say. I feel like you might be onto something, but for the opposite reason of why you think you're onto something, Jiraiya. Wait, what, what am I onto? What, what's that? I what? think you, what it might be it is people just don't want much changes when you remake a game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> Whereas I'm the opposite. If you're going to remake it, make it again. Do it, do it again, but different. Oops. Uh, like, I mean, it depends. Keep some things. I mean, the real thing is, like, there's remakes and remasters, but there's not a good distinction between the two of them. 
So that's kind of where I'm at. If that makes yeah, sense. I would almost I would almost call this a remaster if it weren't it's done on a whole new engine, so like it's not just a remaster, but like it's clo it's more akin to that than anything. Yeah. There is some added content, but not enough to like be like, man, this is a whole different game now. Yeah. So it's really not. It's fun, it's still Dead Space, man. Like it's Dead Space is cool. I like Dead Space. The gore system they made is super cool. You literally see the flesh ripping off of people's like limbs and stuff when you're shooting them, so that's cool. I haven't seen my. I know some weirdos were getting mad that they like put the uh, trigger warning at the start, and it's like I don't know. They, that seems kind of important. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, man. The game's real gory. Oh, hey, it's teaching you a thing. Yeah, I learned. I did it. <laughs> that's just what I wanted me to do. Yep. Man, first try. Nailed it. It was it was it was teaching me the canceling of the tongue, which I did learn earlier. Oh, okay. That's gotta be the Yeah. Uh -oh. I got it. Uh -oh. I'm back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like uh -oh. to me, almost the perfect remake of a game is Resident Evil 2 remake. Cause it's like it is that game, but it is extremely different. Yeah. I think you that's the hard. Oh. You can recognize the bones, but like everything around it is just not the same game. Probably would have just been better to die. <laughs> uh, it's... I think it has an anti mashing mechanism. <laughs> Hey. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I should just. <laughs> I'm getting too fancy, you know. <laughs> Wait, that's the ending. Some... Whoa, I didn't expect Wait, that. Wait, this is that's a yellow. That's a different owl. Oh, what, what did secret exit? Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. Mushroom. <laughs> I try to think of like remakes I really like. Uh. Last of Us. I haven't played the original. I can't actually say. It, from the sounds <laughs> of it, yeah, probably. But I, There's so many where I just didn't play the original, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I will say that, content-wise, Dead Space is more of a remake than Last of Us is. Really? I thought you said they yeah. overhauled the whole system to be like Last of Us 2. They did. But, like, content-wise. Because, like, the maps that you play in uh, Last of Us 1 Remake are still the same areas as Last of Us 1. Uh-huh. They're just playing like Last of Us 2. You got this? Maybe. You don't got this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's fair. I'm trying to, like... I think a lot of the issues is, like, remakes I played were ones where it was, like, an NES game being ported to the Game Boy. And, right. And, like, they still <laughs> had to make a bunch of cuts for that. If the camera wasn't so garbage, I would say the uh, remake of Super Mario Bros. for the Game Boy would be better. Okay, yeah, yeah, I could see that, yeah. Because it has a lot more content, uh, adds all of the lost levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Has a lot of fun side modes. Remake that's worse than the original, Half-Life Source. Yeah, we learned that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trying to think of any others. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just don't like play a lot of remakes in general unless it's like a long time between the first one and the remake. Yeah, like the Resident Evil 4 remake comes out soon. Yeah. I'm interested to see how that's even going to be. Yeah, I'm curious if it'll be the version I should start with or not. Yeah, who knows? Aww. This one seems more difficult. Yeah, this is a secret level. I don't blame it. I also, I'm trying to go fast, and I probably am not at the level of skill in this game to go <laughs> fast. Meow. Whoa. 
Tech point. Yeah. That's the end, anyways. But <laughs> I assume it was, and now I I'm got, disappointed. I got the checkpoint. Yes. I, I will say this game has some pretty good checkpoints so far. On normal, it does absolutely. Yeah. Well, on hard, there's none. So yeah. Yes. It, yeah. <laughs> Mushroom. What? Ah, I have to get up there. E. I don't know what the key's for. I need it though. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, what are the re Man, I really just can't think of how many remakes I've played where I've played both that and the original. I feel like there's like not a whole lot, honestly. Yeah. I guess it doesn't help I stick to Nintendo, which uh isn't right. known for remaking their games much, honestly. No. No. Link's Awakening. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, that's one. I think I would probably say the remake's worth playing, but they do both have some advantages. I think the remake like, in general is the better one, though. Performance is the original, right? Uh, yeah. Just doesn't the remake get pretty framey a lot? Sometimes. It depends what you're doing. Yes! Yeah. Kill him! What? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like, obviously the visuals are so good on the remake, especially yeah. like, I love the fucking clay style they went with. Yeah, it's a really cool aesthetic. Yeah. Um, man, is that it? Have I only might, played might two be. remakes and original? Cause I I just I remember all the ones I skipped on like I skipped on all the Mario RPG remakes because of just disliking the art style of the newer ones. Right. Uh, what I hit it. Skill. I think. Also, a lot of the games that do get remade are just like not your playstyle kind of games. Yeah, that's probably fair. Cause like you don't really need to remake a platformer. No, no, because there's so. Oh like, wait, wait. Look. Actually, Mario 64 DS versus Mario 64, where the remake I would say is just worse. <laughs> and I would disagree. You haven't played it in a long time, and I guarantee you the controls are really bad and way worse than you remember. I bet they're completely fine. They they did some changes to the levels themselves to make them better, but it is just not fun playing Mario 64 with only eight directions. Even on the uh, 3DS, does it still just? It's still eight directions. Eight, eight cardinals, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not It's not magic. It didn't know that in 12 years there would be another console with the... Well, they should, they, should have, they should have thought about that. They should have figured like, it out. There's just a lot of fundamental things. And I know you don't like Mario 64 much, so it's it, it makes sense that you would want that. But, like, the new content's not too interesting. It's cool having the new characters, but, like, they lock stuff behind the new characters rather than just, like, letting you do whatever... And it's a pain in the ass to change between them. It's See, just like, it doesn't have as much. The thing with me is, I never get far enough for that to matter because I get, think that game loses steam pretty quickly. <laughs> ah, so this is going to be like Cowboy Bebop where it doesn't actually matter because you don't like either much anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, like the, I, I genuinely think the controls ruin that one. I would love a remake of that remake. <laughs> Could you imagine like... 64 redone in like Odyssey engine. Uh, it would be great. I mean, 64 is being decompiled, so like people just can do whatever. Like they've modded in characters and new things. They modded in a good camera. Ooh. <laughs> so like the thing that was seemed to be impossible. <laughs> yeah, actually, kinda. <laughs> Man, there's these games. Oh my god. There are these games. I don't even know. I mean, I feel like maybe you would know them. Uh, the Goemon games? Uh, I vaguely know them. 
Those oh, were yeah. great, man. Mystical Ninja Goemon, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know them. The ones on 64 were so good. I loved those games. I need to play them. Just, like, the, the tongue in around the achoo reminds me a lot of, like, the grappling hook stuff in those. That's fair. Those How games are super fun. <laughs> I don't understand this fucking ring system at all. Me either, but you're doing great, so keep, keep it up, champ. <laughs> all right. Tower of Chaos 1. Uh, it, it's really funny, like, looking back at 64 and just seeing, like, man, they're aren't a lot of games here <laughs> no no there certainly were not like i i man a uh, locked camera uh oh oh what probably because it's doing this oh because it's like weird yeah so it probably wouldn't work very well with the locked uh huh. yeah i i still need to get a expansion pack though to play <laughs> more <laughs> to play half of the 64 games that came out. Finally play Perfect Dark. I'm not playing that. It didn't run good with the expansion pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's also just not a game you'd enjoy. Weird games. I have, oh. I, I have played GoldenEye, actually. Um, it's, it's fun with a friend, but man, it's fucking terrible controls. <laughs> it's broken. It's a broken game. I didn't like the controls back then. I imagine if I picked up a controller now, I would hate myself. Oh. I I bet. I had also had the advantage of being able to play stuff on PC. So that's fair. That's, that's where I was like, hey, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I was young, we I knew that you could play NES games on PC, and that's it. Oh, and yeah, Flash yeah. games. <laughs> Flash games were dope. I played so much fucking Flash games. <laughs> played a lot of Flash games. We need a Flash games day on stream. That would be fun. That would be a good time, actually, yeah. I know we talked about it a bit. Well, like, I should, like, we should do it this year sometime. Yeah, I agree. All right, now you just have to knock him into the monkey trophies. Probably. What if this is the whole game? <laughs> <laughs> that would be <laughs> weirdly short. Yeah, get me. What, you, what is this? What am I supposed to do? You gotta uh, bounce on this top. You're probably right. Nope. Oh, the I gotta bring the thing back to. It. I want to use the camera, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him. Yeah. What? <laughs> Stupid monkey. Oh man. Also, I am um, having put about 14-ish, 15-ish hours into Elden Ring. Uh-huh. Um, I can almost guarantee I've never beaten that game. That's fine. I think a lot of people haven't. I think people yeah. just like that game, and that's fine. Yeah. It is fun, but, it, but it's too much. There's too much game in that game. Yeah. I'm going to play a multiplayer with my brother if I ever play it, I think. Yeah, yeah. That'd probably be a good time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Albert the Seventh is defeated, but manages to make his escape at the very last moment. He flies towards the parched sandlands. Oh yeah. Time for a pyramid levels. Let me check something actually. Is the aspect on the video game wrong on OBS? Oop, don't look at that. <laughs> Hang on, I can't find my um, it seems fine to me. I'm saying on... Where's my fucking... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I see what I was going on. <laughs> okay. Uh, my chat was blocking it. Oh. Uh, oops. Also, apologies for... Cur I know I know everyone hates when I curse on, on stuff. <laughs> yeah, you better not do that anymore. <laughs> you dick. Lines in the sand. Zip line. Weird. There's the fruit. So the thing I haven't asked yet is how does this game feel to play? Amazing. Yeah? <laughs> it's so responsive. Other than the like bouncing thing I was talking about, but I think that's just I have to understand what the game wants from my timing. 
Right. I will say, every time I've, like, fallen off and stuff, I feel like it's my fault. I've never felt like the game cheated me. Okay. It feels very... Or it looks very floaty, I should say. Yeah. No, it feels good. All right. Look at that. Yeah. I keep waiting for the berry thing in the corner to start saying more than one berry. <laughs> it's never gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Levels are getting more complicated, though. Wow, it's like a video game. Is that what this is? I know, I, I was confused, but... Yeah, I was actually unsure what we were doing here. Let's see. I'm trying to think of other... Oh yeah, uh, I I started Venture Bros. Oh, did you? Yeah, like just started. Well, what What do you think? First two episodes aren't great. <laughs> They're not bad. <laughs> They're just kind of the first two episodes. Like, yep, this is an adult swim comedy. Yeah, yeah. Um, from everything that I have watched, and and granted, I've not seen a ton of Venture Bros. People that I hung out with really loved it, so I'd seen some of it just in passing. I never sat down to, like, just watch it, watch it. Um, it was definitely not a Jiraiya show, I'll say that. Maybe not. I mean, it's like a parody of uh, Johnny Quest, basically, so far. Yeah, yeah, it, it does a lot of, like, old cartoon parody stuff. My understanding is it eventually falls into its own rhythm. But, yeah. Uh... I'll see. I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me know. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to give it more than a season. Yeah, yeah. that's just my general guess. Wah. Wah. I don't like the way those things sound. It's a mummy. Yeah, I don't like it. Doesn't sound anything like Brendan Fraser. He wasn't even the mummy in those. <laughs> yeah, no, I watched Bojack Horseman. <laughs> Man, Bojack's so good. It is so good. I want to buy it. I want them to let me buy it. They won't. I know. They would have to pay the animators, and you know how much Netflix hates paying animators. Yeah, they do hate pink giving people money in general, actually. <laughs> yeah. I saw it. Oh, no, no. It was Disney Plus lost two and a quarter million users. Yeah, yeah. And they it's, announced it's... a bunch of sequels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well... That's kind of the thing. I don't... I don't know. There's things that Disney Plus has done in regards to Marvel and Star Wars, the two things that I care about Disney, um, that have been good, if not great, even. But man, is it upsetting to just be like, I can't own these things. That's. I think that's what people are starting to really realize nowadays, is like... Streaming was is cool, but god, it fucking sucks because you just don't have it. And yeah, because like, like in two could, years they're just gonna get rid of it, and then they can hold it over your head for whatever. They're gonna put it in the Disney Vault. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like I'm still pissed about all the HBO Max shows that are just gone. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, yeah, like, I no fucking love Infinity. Yeah, I I fucking love Infinity Train, but like they didn't sell that shit. No, you can maybe buy it on like fucking iTunes, but like, yeah, I don't have an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, it's garbage, man. I fucking hate it. Because, like, there's things on Netflix that I love. I would buy BoJack right now. Yeah. I would buy... I'm thinking of ending things right now. Like, but no. No, they won't let me. They just won't let me do it. Yeah. I mean, I love a lot of Netflix's animated series, unfortunately, because of how they treat them. <laughs> uh, Rip Inside Job, which got <laughs> axed before it could do anything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've heard people really like that. I didn't even know it existed until That's cancellation. False. I told you. Yeah, I told but... you I watched it. <laughs> yeah, but you know my memory, so stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hold my brain against me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, I hope that there's going to come a point when people realize I just want to own these things that I like, and hopefully that will get people to. Buy physical media again. 
I mean, it's always the double-edged sword, though, because, like, on one hand, the people need to buy that stuff, but on the other hand, Netflix isn't giving us the stuff to buy, so, like, we can't. That's true. It's true. Also, the food right. says, Home, yeah, Venture Rose, from what I was told, creator tried to make it as close to Johnny Quest as it could without getting sued until later they found out they had the rights to Johnny Quest. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was pretty good. Well, I want to be pink. Yeah. Put that pink on. Nice. I want a bandana. Oh, what about your headphones, though? Oh, nice! Yeah, uh, we'll see. I mean, it's, 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 it's definitely funny. Adventure Bros, for sure, is funny. Even Good. in the first, first couple of episodes. It's just, like, from... it's funny, but it also is from, like, 2000 and whatever. <laughs> so, like, right, the like... jokes have been done to death nowadays. Done to death, and there's a bunch of stuff that I bet you're gonna find very tasteless, I'll be honest. Depends. I mean, we'll see. I guess I probably haven't. Yeah, we'll see. You'll, you'll watch it. You'll, you'll tell yeah. me. You'll tell I me mean, the, the only thing right now is just there's a female character with a deep voice, but that's fine. She just has a deep voice. It's not like a... Right, right. Face, I, it doesn't even seem to be a joke. Just she has a deep voice. It probably was a they, joke, but... It's... I believe they do some stuff with that. We will see. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brock's amazing character for sure. He's the uh, the he's the Johnny, dude. yeah, yeah, the Johnny Bravo. <laughs> I would not call him Johnny Bravo, but sure. <laughs> it's just he has a black shirt on. So. <laughs> nice. Ah! What? Give me up! <laughs> Let me back up! <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, oh. Hey, alright. Planned. How are you supposed to do that? Oh. You got it? <laughs> I played the game, Jirai. I know how to do it. <laughs> You're a professional. This is my kind of game. It's just all about mechanic. I don't know why I would take the tube when I could... Okay. Oh, look at those coins, that's why. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, E. What up? You like platformers. Man. Yes. You like SpongeBob. Yes. Cosmic Shake, is this where this is going? Yes. <laughs> I haven't played it. Okay. <laughs> that uh, was, looks neat. I was gonna ask. <laughs> it looks neat. That's all I know. <laughs> Take that too. Uh, oh! I tried. <laughs> it all worked out. <laughs> what the fuck? Is... <laughs> Meow. Chew. Oh. Come on. I believe in you. Oh, uh, was a food saying something you want to read it that while I struggle to do this? <laughs> I absolutely do. Well, you see, the school and the town of my place of work are the monarchs. And I always thought it would be so funny if someone dresses the monarch and do one of his rants at one of the sports events. Ah, that's the villain in the show. It is, yes. Oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what else is on Netflix that I wish wasn't on Netflix? <laughs> wish wasn't on Netflix? Oh, just yeah, like so, I could, so you could okay. own it. Yeah, I mean all the animated stuff that you don't watch, obviously. Yeah. I mean, what was it? The Flash or what? What was the Marvel show before Disney stole everything that you really liked? <laughs> or was no the DC? DC? Was there a DC show I liked? I thought there was. Was there? Like, I thought it was The Flash or something. Oh, I, I never liked The Flash. Um... Maybe Liz what liked The Flash. What show could it be? Liz watched The Flash, but she stopped watching The Flash. I don't know. What, what Marvel's... Or what, like, superhero stuff did 
Netflix end up getting. That's probably an easier way to find this. Oh, out. Daredevil. There it is. That's what I was thinking of. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, I really like the uh, Netflix Daredevil stuff, actually. And you can own season one uh, on DVD and Blu-ray in the United States, and then you can get the UK version of season two. There is not a season three in physical available. Yeah, that's that's how it'd be. Um, I would really, 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 really like a Midnight Mass Blu-ray, but it doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all this, I uh, Centaur World was pretty good. So you did I would like probably that one. Want yeah. That one Inside Job I talked about. We both talked about BoJack. Yeah, but man, God damn it. Just let me, just let me buy it. Let me give you money. <laughs> I, I just give me only the free troll episode at least. I don't, that's, if anything, <laughs> <laughs> that episode's so good. Which one is that one? The one where it's just Bojack talking. Oh, at the at funeral. The, yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, God, man, that episode is so good. It is. I still throw that episode on occasionally. If I watch stuff again, I would too. <laughs> <laughs> I have done a. Two rewatches in the past like five years, I'm gonna say. Wow. And one was only half a rewatch because I actually uh, ended up because I fell off of the show my original viewing. <laughs> so really, I've done. <laughs> I've only really done one rewatch. <laughs> right. S plus. Just S. Just S. Wow. Oh, Hilda! Hilda's so good too, and I wish I could have that. Another anime Hilda? show. Oh, I haven't heard, I heard really Hilda. Like. Once again, I talked about it a lot. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hilda. Let me see. I'm gonna Google. I don't know if you'll recognize it, but um, I talk about it a lot. And both me and D like that show. Help if I could type. H I L D A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. Hey. Do you vaguely recognize it? No, I just the I the uh, person who's in it who plays Hilda is Bella Ramsey. Ah, she does good. Um. Well, that show. Wish oh, I could have it. This doesn't, this doesn't look familiar to me at all. I've only I've talked about it on our live show when we had that. That was so long ago, E. Multiple I don't just remember anything. Multiple times, in fact, because uh, I talked about it each season I watched, and then when I watched the movie. 26 episodes in a film. Yep. Let's see. Let me, let, me, let me see. Premise. Hilda is a young girl who grew up with her mother, Joanna, in a small cabin on the edge of the woods near the walled-in city of Trollberg. Between the 1980s and the early 1990s and 1995, Hilda and Joanna soon move permanently to the city for a better life and to give Hilda a proper upbringing. Over the course of the series, she and her dear fox Twig, later accompanied by an elf named Alfer, and best friends Frida and David go on a number of adventures interacting and befriending the mysterious animals, people, and spirits that live in and around the city of Trollberg. Were you watching this around the same time where you were watching that one show that you told me not to watch that I watched that one? I think so. Yeah... I think that's the case. <laughs> um, yeah, that was when... Because uh, I was watching that around the same time I was watching Close Enough, and you chose to watch yep. Close Enough. Yep, chose to watch Close Enough. So. Uh, oh, yeah, another Netflix show that I would love to own, Kid Cosmic. Uh, that's, right, you have talked about yeah, that. I remember yeah, that yeah. one. That one you remember. Okay, good. This <laughs> cat's following me. Let's see, Netflix Originals. Um, Stranger Things? I would like to own all the Stranger Things. That might actually be available, though. I think they do that, release Stranger Things. If anything, things. I think it would be Stranger Things. Yeah, I think they do release that. Um, Actually, I know they did the first season, at least, because they have a special edition of it that lends in a case that looks like a VHS case. So, ah, funny. They even released that in 4K. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Um, that, might, that might be all of the originals, actually, that I would want. Yeah, because you don't want Glass Netflix, Onion. So. I would like Glass Onion, actually. Was that only Netflix? Netflix, yeah. Just Netflix. I didn't know that. Um... Oh, what about... I mean, I know I probably liked it more than you. What about I Lost My Body, the French one? Nah, I only I'd buy it. No, I probably would. Too French. All right, sure, I would buy all the live-action stuff, and I'd buy all the animated yeah. stuff. I think that's what we're getting at. Yep, yep, yep. Um... I liked All of Us Are Dead, but I wouldn't buy that. I didn't like that one. You did not, no. I I probably should have gave it at least one more episode, but wasn't feeling yeah. it. If you were feeling it, you were feeling it. Yeah. Uh, Gamma do Taurus Pinocchio. If yes, they better that. fucking release that, I swear to God. <laughs> Ozark, I would buy Ozark in a, in a second. Uh, yeah. I, I would have to, like, look at a list of them. But, there's again, there's still a lot. Like Yeah, yeah, it's still a lot. They're just not taking my money. They're just not doing it. They're leaving money on the table. So get to it, Netflix. I don't care that you guys are losing all your money because you're making terrible financial decisions. Oh, they're making the worst financial decisions. I, I like seeing them be like, uh oh, we you guys weren't supposed to see the password thing. That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, not not that it's not gonna be a thing, it's just you weren't supposed to see the thing. <laughs> Please. Okay. Which one thousand percent is just them being like, oh yeah, well uh, you we uh we didn't realize you guys would hate this much. I mean that's all Netflix that's all those companies do is it's like what yeah. decisions can we make that won't lose us money ultimately? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they were just banking on enough people not unsubscribing, and that clearly was not the case. <laughs> no, no. Because like, we we let somebody else use our Netflix account. We give them the password, and like, I don't know. What are we gonna do? Just tell them they can't use it anymore? Yeah. No. Well, it's gonna if that comes the case, like it's gonna be like, well, I guess we just don't fucking have Netflix or something. I don't know. Yeah, well, then, like, I use someone else's, and you know what would happen if I didn't get to use it anymore? I would just stop watching Netflix. I wouldn't try to buy their thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the reason I use someone else's thing is because it's not financially advisable for me to. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. I think I got it. Viable, advisable, same thing. Yeah. Viable if it's my own money. D depends on me not <laughs> doing it, but... <laughs> but, yeah. Ooh. It's just a shame, man. All the HBO shit, and I think Discovery literally just said, "Ah, we're not gonna actually combine the two. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Which is like, didn't why? After do all, all of this that. Yeah. Which I think is them just realizing, because like when they said they were gonna combine everything, they also had made the decision that they're going to stop investing into scripted television shows. Yeah. And I think the fact that the new season of Game or the new Game of Thrones thing is a huge giant success. And The Last of Us is a huge fucking success, is making them be like, oh, people just like good things, so maybe we keep doing it. Yeah. Unfortunate that uh, all the animated stuff's gonna stay dead forever, though. Yeah, yeah, it will. It will. Which, even animated stuff I don't like, I just don't agree with that, just like eliminating. If, if, if your opinion on something is I don't like it, so no, it should just never exist there's something like that there's an issue with you yeah, like yeah <laughs> you should not wish for like a fundamental thing to just have oh, that shit. much issue yet I, oh. what the fuck uh it fell and i hit the ground <laughs> oh yeah well like i know people like to joke and laugh when it's like oh this thing they didn't get renewed but it's like not getting renewed is one thing but like literally ceasing to exist yeah like that's literally people's credits like their credits on what yeah. they're showing that they've worked on this thing and now it's just nothing there's nothing they, to show for it yeah they're not gonna get paid ever again the biggest reason yeah. why companies love to take animated shit out is so they don't have to pay the people who wrote and, and directed and all that yeah because like it's some um, it's some shit i guarantee you if like celebrities didn't have 
like a per people didn't know who celebrities are, they would do it with the live action shit too. It's just <laughs> if that yeah. happens and fucking The Rock's like, hey, what the fuck? All the Rock fans are gonna be like, I'm gonna boycott Netflix. I mean, uh, I don't all, know if all ten anybody Rock who's fans. The Rock's a bad example, but like you know what I'm saying. I mean, he has he has huge. He's literally the highest paid actor in Hollywood. But like, I don't think I see a Rock fan and be like, yeah, they're gonna go to bat for the Rock. They're just gonna be like, he's the Rock, and I guess he's cool or whatever. But like, people who like the Rock aren't gonna be like, I'm not watching this because the Rock's not in it. Like, they're gonna they don't care that much. Yeah, and Rock think... might not be the best example, but you know what I'm getting. At. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like I was just I'm just. Speaking yeah. about The Rock, I don't think that he has, like, an adamant fan who's, like, what do he's you not mean? in the next Didn't Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Didn't you see how he was, like, uh, all the 7 billion Rock fans are gonna come to Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, everybody saw the previews for Black Adam, and they're like, this looks dumb. I don't, like, I think the biggest thing is it's not even connected to the, uh, the main thing, right, to the Shazam. Um, it's, that's, that's what is, I think, very funny, because Black Adam and Shazam are rivals in the comics. Yeah. Um, and the fact that The Rock was very outspoken about very actively not having Shazam be involved is like, what, what are you doing here? It's just like a fundamental misunderstanding of what, what this character whoa, does. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dry, are you going to tell me that people who work on shows might not understand the characters? Listen. <laughs> you For as much as the rock, someone claims. like Michael Bay might kill a very important character to a story simply because they didn't like their design. <laughs> yeah, man, Hollywood sucks. Oh, I'm going to see that new Transformers probably. I'm not. I don't know if you it doesn't look to. good. You know what? No, I, I'm going to put my foot down. You can't drag me to that one. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I don't think you would anyways, because you know I don't like Transformers, but... No, I barely... I Actually, I'm also going to say this. I don't really like Transformers either, but occasionally I just want big, dumb explosions. Very occasionally, yeah. I just want big, dumb explosions. And uh, you know how much I don't just want, like, cool action. <laughs> Unless it's Shazam. Shazam's fine. <laughs> Shazam, I, li I like Shazam. I, li I like Shazam, but like it's not the best DC or anything. No, no, it's not. It's oh, really it's... funny that that gets to... nice. <laughs> that huh. that gets oh, oh. <laughs> that that gets to be like the one that Liz <laughs> is like out of it. I have to see. Yeah, I don't think. Sh it's... I mean, Shazam two is gonna be fine. It'll be good, probably. I bet it will be a very fun movie, and then we'll never talk about it. <laughs> probably. That mean you mean just like the first Shazam? Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I love the dir I love the director, and I can't wait for him to not have to be stuck doing a big giant uh, superhero movie. I want him to go back to horror. I really, I really am getting so tired that superhero movies are the big thing right now. I think everybody is. I think genuinely, people are getting really, really tired of superheroes. Yeah. We'll see what's next. I mean, I think horror might make a comeback, honestly, mm -hmm. from just what mm -hmm. people have been watching. Horror always does. No matter what, horror always comes back. Oh. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is like a weird Puritan thing on my point, which may actually shock some people. Why? Scream 6 is going to have a real D 3D version, and that kind of upsets me. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Was None of them have ever been in 3D before. Have they really not? They really haven't. Huh. And I don't know why that upsets me. I don't either, but I mean, I know you enough for that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Jirai, you have some very interesting opinions that it's would, just like if I just met you randomly on Twitter and didn't know you, that would probably be like, oh, this guy's just a troll and I would block you. Yeah, people do think that of me <laughs> in real life, even. <laughs> Like it's just it's just weird for Scream Six to be in 3D. I don't know why. I don't know uh, why. I, I don't think it'll be good that it's in 3D. I don't think it'll end up. No, I don't think that. No, I'm not gonna go see it in 3D. This is one I'm gonna put my foot down. I'm not gonna go see it in 3D. What? There's been like two 3D movies in the last decade. I feel like. Nah, man. There's been a bunch. All kinds. Really? 
Uh, yeah, okay, there's every Avatars movie. two. Those are in three D. Yeah, every single Marvel movie is in three D. I guess my family, my dad just doesn't care about three D. Then I don't remember watching any of those in three. I remember yeah. we used to watch a couple in three D, and then I think my dad just it wasn't as interesting to him anymore. Some people just really don't care for it, or like it doesn't add much to the experience. I mean, it depends on the movie, obviously, but. Yeah, yeah. Like if we're watching like um, Spy Kids 3D, now that is a movie that is enhanced. <laughs> I think the two best things I've seen in 3D have been Avatar, Shang Chi, and Avatar 2. You didn't Those watch like Avatar 1? I did watch it in 3D, uh, not when it was in theaters the first time, but when they did the re-release. Uh, so I watched it in IMAX 3D with the remastered visuals and stuff. Um, probably two weeks before the second one came out in theaters. Ah. Um, and it, it honestly, it's very good, very good 3D. That was the best 3D experience I've ever had until Avatar 2. Avatar 2 is literally the best 3D experience I've ever had. It just is stunning. Is that like that high though, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say uh, so. Cause like, there's okay. moments to where I was like, actually, like, holy shit, like this looks incredible. Um, I was in the minority in the group that I went with. I'll say that. <laughs> um, what? But I think, but honestly, I think it's because a lot of people were put off by the weird frame rate thing. More than um, the 3D itself. Yeah, because the high frame rate mixed with the 3D can make things look super weird and too fakey. Because it's 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 also to like hand hand picked scenes were in 48 frames per second. Yeah, it seemed like. I, I almost think that, that would bug me the most out of everything about that movie. It's just I would have just sometimes. liked it all to be in 48. If you're gonna do it, just do all of it. Don't just do some of it. I mean, or 24, but or 24, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you're gonna do 48 frames, do 48 frames. Don't just like half-ass it. Um, the things that were in 48 frames looked really good to me. I really liked it. I think it helps the 3D. Like, it it makes the 3D look way way better. Um. And I think it helps with like a lot of the motion sickness that people get with it and stuff like that. It is the smoothest 3D experience that I've had, and the one that made me the um, that had the most comfortability. I would say. Uh huh. Like there were times when I forgot I was wearing uh, 3D glasses, and I then it would switch to 24 that, frames like... per second, and then I'd be like, oh. Like that's that's, that's the actual problem is you would get instantly un uncomfortable when it hit 24 again. But yeah, uh, and also Shang Chi was just really good in 3D. You did like that movie a lot. You're the only person I've ever heard talk about it. <laughs> it's a really good movie, and it's really good in 3D. I think it is probably the best. Yeah, I'm gonna say I think it is actually the best uh, Phase Four uh, Marvel thing. Is that really saying a lot though? Yeah, because uh, Into the Spider Verse, or not Into the Spider Verse. Um, no way home or not enough homes Far or whatever the home. third spider that one the, the third spider-man movie um came out in that in the fourth one and doctor strange 2 came out in the fourth one so like there's some really good marvel movies that came out with it maybe but i think that's the one that like just feels like a really good action movie on itself without having to be associated with marvel even i guess i really shouldn't talk because ultimately i've seen one of the phase four yeah, you just seen Spider-Man, right? Yeah. And then I didn't even like that one as much as Sony Spider-Man they put out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's basically the sentiment that people yeah. have for it. I think, yeah. It, it's one of those things where it was like, it's actually kind of a shame that they came out about the same time. Because <laughs> like, even though they're yeah. just like fundamentally different movies, they both like had a lot of similar plot things. It's the same when like uh, Everything Everywhere All At Once came out the same time as strange too and i heard that sentiment a lot of like this is cool but i feel like just this movie did it better and they came out at the same time yeah yeah though that's Which, a little I mean, unfair because everything everywhere all at once is like one of the best movies i've ever seen so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um it's also going for different things I would yeah say i'm not well, like it isn't like that's neither here or there yeah I, I, no matter what, I would ultimately agree that everything everywhere all at once is just all around a better movie. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. 
I don't know why I care so much, because it's not like I've been getting every fruit, but <laughs> I, it's the thing. I see it, so I need it. <laughs> this ain't the one. <laughs> no, this is not the run. Unless... No! Uh, yeah. I think that's actually a lot of what Marvel's running into nowadays, is like... Uh, other people just end up stepping on their toes more than they used to have. Yeah, yeah. Because I've um, just in general we've been getting better at <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah. But like also the thing with Phase 4 and what is probably not helping the situation of people feeling bored with superhero movies in general, not just Marvel, but Marvel in particular, um, is that Phase 4 feels so disjointed and like it just doesn't have... A purpose like it just it it's barely getting there now with the newest ant-man that's about to come out uh, but man yeah. it, it took him a really long time to find footing yeah we'll see and then from what i'm hearing maybe ant-man also doesn't even do that so yeah i think it's just like the heart it's it's what all shows end up struggling with where it's like you do the big thing but now what yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Which I mean, you really can look at Marvel as like one as a show, honestly. Yeah. Cause um, a show I love a lot, hey. uh, Steven Universe. I think actually, I love that show to death, but it it suffered from that a lot too. Where yeah. like, it had a really cool season two finale, and then you just kind of felt like you were like, okay, but what what is there next? Like, what can we even do? <laughs> right. And for what it's worth, I think Kang, who is the big bad now in Marvel, mm -hmm. his introduction in the Loki show is maybe yeah. one of the best Marvel things. It's crazy how they did, like, the Simpsons crossover into that, actually. But, you know, I I'm down for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, I'm, I'm super, super hyped up to see more of Kang. So, like, that's actually the reason why I really want to go see Ant-Man. <laughs> I'm going to see it anyway because I'm fucking me, obviously. But yeah, because you I just, watch every want... movie that isn't animated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, I really want to see more King. You, you still haven't gone to see uh, Puss in Boots, have you? I haven't. And it was on Paramount. And then I was like, I'll just watch it on Paramount. Like I even like started getting uh, Paramount like going on the TV. And then Liz is like, oh, I got rid of that because we weren't watching anything. I was like, oh, well, she okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess I'll just see it eventually. Listen, well, I'll shit talk every all the like uh, stream services that are doing bad. Fuck Paramount for existing, even. <laughs> Quite frankly. Yeah, man. Like, what it, are they? What are they trying to get here? You know. Let me see. I'm actually gonna look up Phase Four. Yeah. I. I, I really think I have only seen Spider-Man though, so it's not oh. like I'm gonna know much. Out of this all is for of them, me, even. Yeah, yeah. Out of all of them, Spider-Man and Shang-Chi are the two I want to, like... Or, uh, sorry, uh, Strange 2 and Shang-Chi are the two I care about. Right. Just because uh, you like those a lot more than anything, honestly. Because, like, do you like Marvel a lot, but, like, even then you're like, yeah, it's, like, it's a fun Marvel movie. Whereas those you, like, yeah. like as movies, period. Yeah. I also forgot that what kind of wet forever was in Phase 4, and that's actually a really good movie, so... Fair enough. I don't know. That one seems kind of like I don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it. I made it just like. I don't think you would like it. I'll say that it is yeah. um, very, very serious. Very serious. I mean, <laughs> is that the only reason, or is there more to it? Because <laughs> like, I, I think can watch serious, serious movies. <laughs> I think it's very serious, and the action scenes they have in it are not good. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that. Um, but if you also don't necessarily have many feelings about Chadwick Boseman, then it's probably not going to do much for you. Fair enough. I think he was a good actor. And don't he, didn't know many of his roles. He didn't have many roles. Is why. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Then. Um, I think so it was see. terrible that they made an NFT of him right after he died. That was fucked up. Yeah, that's super fucked up. Um, Black Widow, um, which was a good movie, but was six years too late. <laughs> it needed to be uh, in, like the first one. It it needed to be in phase two. I'm gonna say, um, Shang Chi, which was very very good. 
uh, Eternals, which I personally liked a lot. But even uh, then, you still barely even remember it exists. Yes, that's very true. That is very, very true. Um, Spider-Man No Way Home. Good. Best of the trilogy, um, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would say I, so. Yeah. I might want to rewatch the first. I really didn't like this. Uh, I shouldn't say I really did. I, I wasn't a big fan of the second one, though. You weren't a big fan of the second one. I think second one's pretty weak in a lot of places, though. It is. I think it suffers so much of, like, they. that's the one where they're like, all right, this is where we, like, acknowledge Tony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's not bad, but, like, it just feels so, like, half it a It feels movie. like a filler episode. Yeah. Again, um, like, really goes back to the thing, though, like, uh, the... I guess that was technically three or whatever, but or was that four? Which one? No way home. It's the second one. The second one was phase three. Okay, yeah, but it, yeah, it still yeah. feels like it had that meandering of like, what do we do now? Yeah, yeah. There were there were a few movies after that that were like. All right, like let's all get over that Tony's dead. <laughs> all right, guys, you had a, you had ten minutes. Pack it up. Yeah, kind of. Um, Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness, Thor: Love and Thunder, which people really fucking hate. Yeah, you liked it though, didn't you? I did, but I also went into it like I don't like Thor. Like I think he's yeah. fucking a really weak superhero. Actually, I like him in um, the comics. Is he's Thor? You know. Um, I, I mean, I think he gets some good material bouncing off of certain characters. I don't think he's good for his own movie. <laughs> right. Probably... He's a really good straight man or a really good, like, unexpected silly character. Um, when it's he has to do both, it doesn't work as much. Uh, if you're looking for, like, just that character quirk kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I went into it just wanting a very silly Taika Waititi comedy, and I got what I wanted. Give Most that, people... Most people really don't want that. So I don't remember who that is. Taika Waititi? Yeah. He did um He did Ragnarok and he did that Hitler movie. Um, no, I definitely have not seen that Hitler movie. <laughs> it's not called that Hitler movie. Uh let me let me I can't I can never think of the name. Oh. Uh, Pile Honey I'm home. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Look up his IMDB here. I'll just go straight to the source. It's like your father. Anyway, uh, Jojo Rabbit is what it's called. Huh? I don't think you're showing me that one. I don't think I have. It is about a uh, little boy in World War II who his imaginary friend is Hitler. Mm. It is very, very funny, very dark, very poignant. Uh, makes fun of Hitler a lot. It's good stuff. I mean, I feel like most of the times when you have Hitler, you kind of need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point uh, it's in time, good. it's very, 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 very funny. Uh, he also was the one of the co-writers of the original "What We Do in the Shadows" movie, uh, and he is a co-showrunner. Though he has also admitted he's not very involved in the "What We Do in the Shadows" TV show. Okay. Mostly Jermaine Clement who does all that stuff. Actually, speaking of not very involved. Did you see the, like, thing that came out saying, like, oh, yeah, Dustin Roiland and Dan Harmon kind of don't do much for Rick and Morty, actually. I saw that uh, Roiland doesn't. I, the Maybe things it was that I just read, him, mostly, but, yeah. The things that I had read was, like, yeah, Dan Harmon's been, like, behind most of it. Justin Roiland just kind of comes in and does voices. Yeah. Or I mean, looking at, the, looking at the writers, even then, it's not. A lot of the, like, yeah. most highly regarded episodes aren't even Dan Harmon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, most showrunners don't uh, have the writing credit or directing credit for most episodes. They usually are like, we do the opening of the season and the end of the season, and that's it. Yeah, quite except, honestly. Except for Matt and Trey Stone, Matt Parker and Trey Stone. They're not married. Trey Stone, Matt Parker. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with that? Uh, that's what I said. What? It's, it's just you made it sound weird. I don't know. Why? Um, did <laughs> <laughs> there's a rhythm to their names. You say them right or you don't. What's wrong with? Uh, them? <laughs> whatever all right anyway um yeah no they're super involved with everything every single aspect of it literally if one of them died south park couldn't exist anymore um very very integral to the whole thing it's very strange but mm -hmm. um yeah there's not really anything that 
execute no Taika Waititi for, honestly. Fair enough. Um, Other than Thor 2. Or 3? Thor 2, Jojo Rabbit. Uh, he's the co-creator of the show Reservation Dogs, which me and Liz love on Hulu. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but you're saying things I would know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there's nothing you'd know. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know who Flight of the Concords is. Yeah, I know. They had an HBO show. Um, hmm. That's uh, his rise to fame. Was That was his r- first real big project with Flight of the Concords. He directed some of those episodes and helped with some of that writing and stuff. Um, and that's how him and Jermaine Clement... Rose to fame. Mr. Dormant on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, people just wanted like a fun Thor movie in like the vein of Ragnarok. Probably wanted something a bit more serious too. And uh, all you get is a very filler movie that doesn't affect anything in the bigger scheme of things at all. And it's very, 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 very ridiculous and silly and stupid. Kind of funny. Um, you like it then? Huh? Kind of funny. You like it then. You complain all the time about like things not progressing a plot. You are totally right, but I went in just wanting more of Taika Waititi comedy. So, I had a goal in mind. I hit my goal. <laughs> what if I start just telling you of random cartoons I like are like a Taika Waititi comedy? <laughs> just, 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 oh, really? Yeah, I'm like, did you know that he actually wrote season two of Spongebob? <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Um, and then Black Panther Wakanda Forever. The thing here that made Phase 4 feel so long, honestly, is all the television shows. That's fair, and you're, like, expected to watch all of them. Yeah, they're all canon. It's fucking annoying. Even What If is technically canon. Yeah. Even though the whole concept of it is that it's not canon. Which part which makes it canon? Which is frustrating. Ouch. Huh? Ouch. Which, <laughs> which part makes it canon? Um, so all of the what if is like, hey, what if this happened? And it, like, explores... Yeah, yeah I got that. I know, I know the premise, yeah, yeah. but, like... Yeah, yeah. But, like, those characters do come into play. Oh. In the multiverse stuff. Oh. So, oh, like, no. it's still canon. The not canon thing is still fucking canon. It's so dumb. Uh. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so there were more shows than there were even movies. Yeah, there was and they're all Wanda, so much longer. What if? Uh... Um, in order, it was WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, What If, Hawkeye, Moon Knight, Ms. Marvel, and then She-Hulk: Attorney at Law. Man, people talked the fuck about Moon Knight when it came out, and then it that they just stopped talking about it. Yeah, mostly because nobody wants to get super hype about it. It was really good, by the way, but yeah. nobody wants to get super hype about it because. Um, He's not coming to the series, the main stuff, or what? Well, that's the thing, is whenever they, like, did all this, because now Marvel's, like, very well... They used to be well-known for, like, you sign this contract and you're with this company for many, many years and this many movies and shows and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The new thing that they did in Phase 4 is, like, we're not making anybody sign long... at all. Because we're not making them do it. And so... (laughs) um, Oscar Isaac... He was like, yeah, like I can sign this one contract and then never come back. So, great. G- good. He's like actually very integral to Blade and Blade's story. And, uh, just not, he's not, he might never come back because Oscar Isaac may just not want to do it again. This is a very important character. <laughs> that does suck. <laughs> and I, I think that kind of really speaks to how much, like, they ended up shooting themselves in the foot in terms of everything by doing that. Yeah. Yeah. 1,000%. Yeah. It does suck because Moon Knight's actually, like, he's a cool character. Cool character? Oscar Isaac is a fucking amazing actor. Yeah, and it's uh, like, he played Poe Dameron. Yeah. I, I If they even got to keep him, I doubt they would do that. But he's another character that works off characters like Spider-Man really well. Yeah, yeah. He He's a really, really good straight man. Well, actually, he's also really good comedy guy too even when he's alone because he has the whole multiple personality thing yeah oh this is um, sunshine again <laughs> oh yep 1000 percent is um yeah no moon knight was really really good but there's no guarantee we'll ever get more of him at all so funny um i think the only thing because wandavision they've said isn't not going to get a sequel show falcon winter soldier isn't going to get a sequel show um because Spoilers, Falcon isn't a superhero anymore. 
Um, oh, I, you know, I was I I was <laughs> so gonna watch that. You always know how much I love watching things. Well, he's not a superhero anymore because the Falcon doesn't exist because he's Captain America now. So, literally, they're not making another Falcon Winter Soldier show because he, it's just Captain America now. So. Yeah, they could have called him Falcon Captain America. <laughs> That would be funny. Um, no, he's just getting his own movie, so okay. that's good. Um, it's Bucky which I am anything? excited for. Your wife's favorite character? Bucky? Yeah, he's yeah. in it a ton, actually. He's a badass, I would say, even. I've only seen him in that little bit in Endgame, and that's all I know about him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he's in Falcon Winter Soldier a whole bunch, and then uh, Civil War is probably the one that he's in the most after that, so... He's not like a huge character, but Liz loves him. Yeah. Uh, and in those things, uh, everybody really loved WandaVision, but I fucking hate WandaVision. You hate WandaVision um, a lot. Everyone loves everybody what if you didn't watch it. Didn't watch it. Everybody liked She-Hulk, and I don't know why. No! No, they did not. Everyone hated She-Hulk. Okay, maybe I was just like reading the wrong communities, but the communities that I was reading about was like, yeah, She-Hulk is the funniest shit ever. And Everything like, I saw is She-Hulk is one of the worst things Marvel's put out <laughs> so far I, in Phase 4. I 1,000% I agree with that. I think She-Hulk was fucking garbage. I don't it know who the, you were reading with, but... It, the cult. It was the cult. Okay. Um, Your cult isn't real people. <laughs> you might be right. I don't know, man. It's, everything going on these last few days has been just crazy. Um, it's been awful. Um... Well, we won't get into it, but I will just no. say this: you, uh, you, you cannot use the words Harry Potter in that group any longer. Oh, yep. I yeah. know what happened then. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and we will say nothing more about Harry we Potter ever again. We will say nothing more. Um. So yeah, uh, there's many things in there that I didn't like. I think Hawkeye, and Falcon Winter Soldier, and Moon Knight and Ms. Marvel are all really good. Loki, I think the last episode is really good. I was not super into most of it um yeah, but i really like the last really like loki but i think that a lot of people just like loki not necessarily yeah, the quality of the show yeah he's just a fun character and admittedly loki set up almost all of what phase five is going to be <laughs> so now they just have to get there <laughs> yes which is what um ant-man is finally going to do is it is going to finally introduce everything that phase five will be about finally oh, after yeah. all of this so it took a real long time for them to get there man so that's been the actual problem is that like if you include the shows which you have to because they're canon they are actually longer than all of phases one phase four has been so my I get the advantage of I don't care about, like, <laughs> keeping up with every single thing. Right. <laughs> Unlike you, where you, like, want to know everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. So, so whenever cool. it's uh, an interesting thing comes along, you just be like, I'm going to watch the interesting thing. Yeah. And I'm like, I watch so many shitty things to get here. And I get to just, if I'm confused, I get to ask you, or if it's... <laughs> and a lot of times <laughs> you'll tell me, like, you won't understand this part, and it's just... Heckle Smeckledorf showed up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was what happened in No Way Home. You were, like, assuring me I would be, like, lost. It's like, no, that's this character. I know who this character is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best part of She-Hulk was that Daredevil was in it for, like, two episodes. But... Makes sense. He's I, a lawyer. I, yeah, I think I didn't even like him in that, though. Oh, that's saying something. I think the writing in She-Hulk was so bad that I didn't even like him in that. The people who wrote She-Hulk didn't even care about the writing in She-Hulk. Yeah, man. Oh. She-Hulk sucked. I think it'll just be forgotten. I hope and, so. It and or people will be very angry about it for way too long. Instead of being like, it was just kind of bad and it doesn't matter. In my opinion, it was not even funny. Yeah. And then it also didn't do anything for anybody's plot. So that's great. Which is a shame, because She-Hulk is a pretty cool character. It's Hulk, but she. Yeah, there's a lot more differences. When she's... <laughs> <laughs> but sure, you know. I mean, even just, like, I do still... 
ultimately like the lawyer part about She-Hulk, but I, I don't think that was much of that show. Damn. That was maybe 45 minutes of the entire series. Yeah, so... There's no, mm. there's almost no of her actually... Nice. Which, um, the showrunners for the Daredevil show, which is very, very long, um, they have, they are changing that. It will be mostly a law drama for Fox like That'd be which funny. Which I think is actually awesome. Like, they're, they've are they been very open about, like, we hired um, lawyers who are also writers. Mm -hmm. So that, actually, I'm... Very interested in that, because I think some of the best stuff in the Daredevil show was when it was just Matt Murdock being a fucking lawyer. We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be really uh, long. It's, it's going to be I, 19 episodes or something. I also, as I say I like about the stuff about S.H.I.E.L.D. being a lawyer, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't actually like watching cop, like, lawyer shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't too into the night of... Yeah, there was things about it that I found interesting, but I didn't love it, I'll say. I think, I think I was real, um, I don't know. I think it was too long for, like, the point it was trying to get yeah. across. We talked about that, though. Yeah, go and watch all of the spontaneous times we watched that show last. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go look through our post credits on the podcast. Hey, from here on out, guys, though, you get the advantage of it won't just be on post-credits anymore. It's just going to be episodes, probably. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Actually, that reminds me. You know what's going to be coming out this year? The Simpsons. No, it's related to some of the shows we watched. Odd Taxi is getting a movie. Oh, shit, is it really? Yeah, so I'm bringing that. Huh. I think it is going to directly be what, like, after the show. Like, exactly oh, shit. right after that. So that will be interesting. I, I might not even vet it. I might just bring it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I think you need way more momentum here. You... Nope, here I go. Okay. okay. And you, you instantly <laughs> put me on. Oh, no. <laughs> then I instantly did a jump high enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, back we go. Yay! I'm glad I do this button segment every time. <laughs> it's a really good checkpoint. Yeah. To be fair, this is—I didn't have to do this level. <laughs> oh, this is an optional one. Yeah. But it, we're, we're I, I want to—I want to do every level at least. Like, I'm not yeah. gonna get every collectible, but. This is just what sunshine's like, huh? Uh, this is better than sunshine still. Nice. I mean, there's no... Such it's so weird, because, like, there's a lot of cool stuff about it, but, like, it just as it just didn't, like, stick the landing. Which added development hell, so I'm not surprised, but... For me, which I think you'll find very unsurprising, Sunshine uh, is if you mixed Mario 64 and then a bad game mechanic. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Sunshine has always been the most divisive Mario game, so... Because I hate the I hate the backpack. I just hate it. Flood. Yeah, I hate flood. Uh, I hate I flood, and I hate how the levels are designed around it. As Yoshi, and, and you hate Yoshi. I hate Yoshi. I don't like Yoshi. <laughs> You're the weirdest human being. <laughs> he's dumb and he's stupid, and he has a stupid dumb face. <laughs> he's like Yoshi. Ba -ba -ba -na -ba -na -ba -na. <laughs> and then you throw him down a hole, because that's where he belongs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the one where Buffalo Bill would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Buffalo Bill's throw people down holes. I don't know. I'm going. <laughs> so lost. It's fine. All right. You got this. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Woo! What? <laughs> <laughs> Safoon says less woo and more mew ma <laughs> Woohoo! That's pretty good. Uh, hey, second uh, dungeon thing. Yeah. I was it it is always interesting playing like uh indie games based off of the Mario stuff. Cause like up Odyssey added this a bit, but like uh indie games love just letting you build momentum more than a lot of Mario games did. Yeah. 
I mean, that's this whole game, basically, is just momentum. <laughs> it's true. Nice. You're watching a master at work. <laughs> well, <laughs> except for that part. <laughs> oh, no, the lava rises. Oh, you didn't realize that? No. That's what this intro is about. <laughs> oh. I thought he was looking at a monkey head. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ooh, that's my bad. <laughs> See, monkey head. Yeah, but it's spewing lava. <laughs> How do you know? I can see it spewing lava. <laughs> yeah, okay, Mr. Scientist. <laughs> Take me at the tube. Liz and I, or rather, I, sh I was going to say Liz and I had started watching a thing, but rather, Liz watched a whole thing in like 12 hours, and then she immediately was like, we both need to watch this, I want to watch it. <laughs> nice. It was a Sandman on Netflix. Me a sand. Written by Neil Gaiman, which yeah, yeah. I love Neil Gaiman, love me some Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman, pretty good, pretty good. Sure, I, you might actually, it might actually be pronounced. Might actually be pronounced gay man. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, love his writing. He is quite easily my favorite writer. Um, Sandman is very good. I feel like I've heard of Sandman, but don't really know much about it. I would. I imagine it would be difficult not to hear of Sandman in the art community. You got. You got cut off there. Oh, I imagine it would be very difficult not to hear of Sandman in the art community. Uh-huh. Because just tons of graphic novels. Fair and he's, he's, he's a weird property because Sandman is technically a DCU character, but also not. Hmm. Like, he is canonically in the DC wait, wait, comics. Like, no, I know. I am thinking of a different Sandman. No, keep going. <laughs> um, and even interacts with like other superheroes and stuff like that. But he is still very much his own thing. It's very strange. Um, I, I regret this. <laughs> the biggest, the biggest person that he interacts with the most is Constantine. Mm, not ringing a bell. Constantine's like an exorcist. Okay. But like a super exorcist. <laughs> Fair enough. Goes to hell and stuff. Yeah. Uh, the thing I was surprised about is they actually got Constantine in the Netflix show, which I didn't see coming. Why? Because it's a Netflix show and not WB show. So I don't know. It's it's weird that they actually gave him the rights to it. Oh. So yeah, Constantine's in a whole episode. Crazy. It's a good show so far. Liz loves it. Yeah. Liz gets very attached mm -hmm. to stuff. Yes, she Just does. And she watches stuff. it over and over. Yeah. Alright, let's fuck this monkey up. Yeah. Oh, it's in a fucking... It's in the monkey ball boxing guinea game. <laughs> so you're telling me you've got this easy. <laughs> if I figure out what I'm supposed to do. Put him up. Oh. I think you found out. I think he's supposed to do that, though. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, come over <laughs> here. Come over here. No, yeah, come over here. No. Okay, come on. Oh, this is going to be easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pro strats. <laughs> Mr. Sandman. Man me a sand. Do, 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 do. Make it a good for Cardo to can. <laughs> Yeah. No more monkeying around. Ah, got him. I wonder if this is going to kill him. <laughs> it was my pun that killed him. <laughs> the Unicyclone War Machine has been completely... <laughs> war Machine? Because <laughs> it's oh. completely destroyed, but once again, Albert flees in the direction of the frigid Frosty Falls. I wonder how many levels this game has. I'm going to guess eight. I don't know. I feel like four. 
I just, it feels like an eight kind of game because, you know, Mario. Maybe. Let's see. I'll look it up and not tell you. Yeah. If it's four, tell me, because then, uh, like, for splitting purposes, we should end here. Right. I guess, actually, regardless, we should probably split here unless it's three. <laughs> yeah. Found it? I did. Should we stop here? Um. We're at two we hours. can probably get a few levels into this one and then stop. All right. Into this world or chapter, or whatever. Yeah. It's gonna be. I also imagine though it will be much harder going forward, so these old yeah. ch chapters will start taking longer. Most likely. The, what happened with right? <laughs> yeah. That only took one more stream than I was expecting, I guess. That is true, actually. Bridget did that pretty well. Oops. <laughs> Safoon says, oh god, Stubbs the Zombie. I hated that part of the game. Don't think I've ever played a game called Stubbs the Zombie. You've never played Stubbs the Zombie? I'm not surprised. I don't know why I had a surprise voice on. Um... Boy, did I play the ever-living shit out of Stubbs the Zombie. Did you like it? At the time, I loved it. <laughs> okay. They did a remaster of it. Um, took out the music, which I might argue was the best part of it, so that's might maybe disappointing. Was they copyrighted um, or they just changed it? Uh, they changed a bunch of the music out because it was, um, it's all licensed music in the game. Uh. Um. Oh. Whoa! Oh! I got it! I got oh. it! I got 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 it! Um, but literally, you're a zombie. A, a zombie? A zombie? Zombie? <laughs> Is that the um, one where you like throw your head? You can throw your head and your arms, and you have like a powers and stuff. Um, but that's zombie. not the main thing. Is the main thing isn't throwing your head? No, no, no. You're just a zombie, and you have a bunch okay. of different powers and stuff. Um, and yeah, you have levels. It was based, it was, it was a big deal at the time, but it was made off of the same engine as Halo. I don't know why that was <laughs> such a big deal at the time. Because only Halo was made Halo. <laughs> it was, it's very funny because, oh, Zafun saying it was free on Epic last year. Oh, um, really? But it was very, very funny because there are occasional spots where you would, like, drive a car because you could, like, possess people because that's one of your zombie powers yeah yeah um and you could drive a car and it's just it felt exactly like halo which was oh oh this is this seems fun actually it seems really cool i love this game's great i'm gonna say <laughs> especially that's what i think sells this game is the that <laughs> no well yes but not literally the, like how easy, like you can recover most of your mess ups. Yeah, is always what's great about a game like this. Um, but yeah, Stubbs the Zombie was really, really fun. I really, really liked the music. We can't stream it ever, apparently. Then, no, no, because it has some of the licensed music, but not the ones you want. I mean, we, I'm saying we would play the original, but also we hmm. couldn't because it would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does it play a silly Zombie game. by uh, <laughs> Abercrombie or whatever? What are they? <laughs> <laughs> you know what song it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know I know. Which I knew which one. Does it? Does it? <laughs> um. No. No, it does not. That was before. Oh. oh. Okay. I can't fault it too much then. Was it before? It, it was play, not before. Does it play Thriller? Mm, no, but I think it does make a Thriller joke. Well, I mean, every zombie thing does. Yeah, you have to. I think legally you're obligated. I think legally obligated, yeah. Did you know there's a thriller movie? I know there's a thriller music video that's like 30 minutes long. No, like there's a movie really? based off of that. What? Like, it's a Michael Jackson movie, but it doesn't have any of the songs. 
<laughs> what? I think it has thriller, but not like they don't do the thriller dance when they play it. What's the point? What's the point of the entire thing? Then? It's ter- it's a terrible movie. <laughs> it's like Michael Jackson Pumpkin King or something. I don't fucking remember. It's a Halloween movie. What? You could probably find it looking up Michael Jackson Halloween movie. Well, I'm gonna. There's a movie that came out in 2017 called Michael Jackson's Halloween, but I don't think that's right. Is it animated? Yes. It might be that one. Okay. It doesn't look badly animated. Let me get a better picture here. Okay. Oh! Um... What are we saying badly is? Is it, is it mo cat <laughs> looking? <laughs> I might just need to see it. Go ahead and just send it to no, me. No, this looks decent, actually. And it's only five minutes long. Oh, well. I'll have to find it. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to find it. <laughs> These are two Michael Jackson Halloween movies. <laughs> there might be even more than that, actually. You know what? He did make Thriller, so I shouldn't be too surprised. <laughs> uh, it came out way after his death, I guess, is another important thing. Okay. Huh. And, and also, also reading... again, it's not good. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm reading the Wikipedia for Stubbs the Zombie, because I just wanted to look at the soundtrack. Uh-huh. Um... Stubbs the Zombie, along with Fear, encountered controversy in November 2005 regarding cannibalism in games. Okay, it's a zombie. Um, criticized the game as cannibalistic and harmful to underage children. Senator Lieberman stated it's just the worst kind of message to kids, and furthermore, they can harm the entirety of America's use. Youth. Use. Uh huh, <laughs> I'm sure. Reporter calling it ridiculous and citing 36 mainstream news outlets that picked the story immediately after the NIMF report. That's so stupid. So dumb. It Man, got like, middling reviews. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, the gun thing is stupid too, but, like, that, like, I can see why they try to latch onto that. Yeah, this was just another, Really? They're just going for anything, man. I mean, they still um, are. Yeah, yeah, they still are. They just uh, start so making yeah, the up stuff. <laughs> the soundtrack was Lollipop. Um, which one? By Ben Queller. I think it's the original. Okay. Maybe. Let me let me check. That one probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the original. Okay. Um. Boyfriend's back. What? Yeah, my know. boyfriend's back and he's looking for trouble. Hey now, hey now, my boyfriend's back. You never heard that song? I don't think I've heard that one. Oh man, I'm gonna send that song to you. It's a great song. Are you, is I it like actually? Old music, though. Yeah, I actually really like that song. It's super Wait, catchy. Is it like a classic then, or is yeah? It like... Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was like a weird 2000s song. No, no, no. When did okay. that originally come out? That came out in 1963. Okay. Um, Earth Angel. Um, but it is a cover by Death Cab for Cutie. Interesting. Um, Shaken All Over by Rose Hill Dive. Um, I don't think I can remember how that song goes at all. Uh, Strangers in the off. Night Shake by Kate. There Goes My Baby by The Walkman. Every okay. Day by Rogue Wave. Uh, all I Have to Do is Dream, Dandy Warhols. Uh, Mr. Sandman. Yeah. Uh, if I Only Had a Brain. Kind of remember that one. If I only had a brain. But it's by the Flaming Lips. Let me click on it. Um, if I only had a brain, also, If I only had a heart, and also known as If I only had the nerve, is a song by Neep Harvung lyrics. This song is sung in the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz by the character Scarecrow. Ah, that's why. <laughs> um, 
Tears on My Pillow, Lonesome uh-huh. Town, and a town called Living Dead. Won't you take me to Lonesome Town? Let's see, it. Lonesome Town <laughs> is a song written by Baker Knight, a version sung by Ricky Nelson, became a hit single in the United States, reached Billboard Hot 115 on the R&B chart in 1958. The song was featured in 1959 album Ricky Sings Again. Nelson is company on the recordings of a vocal quartet, The Jordanaires. Okay, so I, I see what it's doing then. I thought, when you said licensed soundtrack, I was thinking like, it licensed a bunch of new songs. Like, no, no, a bunch of old songs or covers yeah. of old songs. Okay, that's kind of neat. I loved the soundtrack to that game. It was so good. I'm going to say, I feel like if a song is that old, it should just be in public domain, quite frankly. But I know the music sure, industry sure. doesn't want that. <laughs> they hate it. They hate that. Fucking Metallica ruins everything. <laughs> I think it was Metallica, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. They were, they were the ones who ruined everything. Um. Yeah. I'm going to get that soundtrack. Rather, I'm probably just going to add them on a playlist on Spotify. <laughs> Boyfriend's back and he's looking for trouble. Hey now, hey. My boyfriend's back. Back in black. My boyfriend's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. You got in the bad loop. <laughs> hey, oh, the watermelon died. Meow. Just missed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anything you're playing as of recently? Uh, a lot. I oh. beat Tunic. I think I said. I think I talked about that actually. I don't think you talked about beating it actually. Uh, I beat it. Got, nice. I uh, got the credits. I should specify. Right, you didn't get like the ending ending. Yeah. Um, that game's fucking great. Yeah. Probably is my game of the year. Wow. Are Just... you gonna go for the ending ending? Maybe eventually. I'm gonna take a break though. Okay, okay. Um I would love if you were able to figure out the last puzzle by yourself. I was not able to. Fair enough. Is that the one you were saying? Like you going for the ending, ending? You didn't get the that yeah, puzzle, like the or? Okay. like literally the very, very last puzzle, um, because there was a page that I just couldn't figure out to get, um, and that's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to spoil any of it for I'm you. I'm missing two pages. I think it says right now. Okay. Uh, I will say it was super easy for a while when I was so over leveled. Because <laughs> of my stupidity. Uh, I was not expecting it to just be like, nope, you're dead. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was rough for a bit until I figured. I was annoyed because um, I I found a bunch of the spoilers for Tunic, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that game needs to be going in blind, is why I'm saying. I right. found I found a bunch of the statues that you're supposed to pray at to like get into the weird zone and get your stuff back. Yeah. I found three of them and didn't realize till the third one I was supposed to pray at them. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I looked up at that point because it's like, I found them already. I just <laughs> I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't. I'm, I'm never ashamed of looking stuff up, anyways, by the way. Don't let anyone shame you for stuff like that. The, uh, puzzle games, my problem is, I think we've talked about this. I have that problem of like, once you crack that open, yeah. it's hard to not do it again. Yes, uh, I totally have that. I tried really long for Tunic. Um, and I was fine after, like, I just saw that I forgot to open a door. Because oh, I was yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> because I was like, that wasn't a puzzle. I just am stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think basically most of the time I didn't have to look up. There are a couple chests I ended up looking up. Because I, what I did look up is some of the bonus stuff. Where I would, like, find the thing where you had to, like, hit the... Uh, D-pad. Oh yeah, and yeah, I would yeah, find it, and I would like try really hard to get it, and then I would just eventually have to give up and look at. <laughs> <laughs> I would eventually give up and just look up what the uh, input is, because like I just couldn't get it to work sometimes, and I couldn't um... figure out why. Even after some of the inputs, I looked up and I did the right input. I just 
didn't get it for some reason. Yeah, they're super, super fast, honestly. Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue. I, I feel like one tiny, tiny gripe with that game, I feel like those don't need to be, like, so time-capped. Yeah, that is actually a complaint. Because there's, there's ones in there that you're just like, I know I'm doing it right. I know yeah. for a fact I'm doing this right. But yeah, I found those. Uh, I did end up... Oh no, I can't Aww. ball jump. I did find out through looking stuff up that you can combine certain tools. Yep. I don't blame those because I never figure that out in like actual Zelda games either. So I'm not <laughs> like an I'm not like oh man. It's because I always like I just always have the sword mapped. That's just always how I play those games. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and <laughs> I'm basically the reason why in new Zelda newer Zelda games they don't even let you re <laughs> like <laughs> rebind the sword. <laughs> Like, it's people like me, where I just never move. Like, uh, Link's... No. Oh, it was worse in the Oracle Zelda series. Because that game expects you to combine those a lot, and I just got stuck a lot, because I didn't realize. <laughs> You're like, I have my sword out. I don't know what you guys want. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But I found most of the stuff. That fucking final boss was a pain in the ass. Uh, except it's one of those where I got so frustrated. Took took a break tried it again the next day first try <laughs> yeah 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 it was that uh, way for me too yeah <laughs> but yeah that game uh that game is amazing really so such a good game such a good game oh no that was a bad idea <laughs> you sticky gunk with pointed stick to make something really brown and really sticky <laughs> kind of sometimes yeah. uh but yeah love love that game definitely game of the year for me it was real good. It was real, real good. Barely surpassed my Stanley Parable as my game of the year. <laughs> wow, nice. And you want to know, this might be a surprise to you, Jiraiya. This is the first year it's all been indie games. Wait, really? Yeah. Uh, usually there's a couple Nintendo games that crack in, but no. Not huh. this year. Wow. What, so um, what was it then? What were your, what were your games? Uh, Are you allowed to say yet? Are you I, saying Yeah, I, I mean, people who watch our streams probably don't follow me for my art, so I'm not <laughs> uh, I'll When I'm at a, like, a good spot, I'll pause and grab my list. Okay. Nice. Hell All yeah. Right. S plus. <laughs> of course. All right. Why not? <laughs> don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> People can't know that I follow Sakurai on YouTube. <laughs> it up and then i i do end up listing more than <laughs> five obviously sure so i'm gonna start past five and go up to number one which okay. we already know but you know <laughs> <laughs> all right so it starts at 12 a what? game with a game no one's heard of called gaballer uh, wow just, i've not even heard of that yeah just was a fun little indie game no one played it okay. uh then pokemon arceus at 11 Okay. Uh, Last of Us made top 10. What? It's I actually 10. didn't even expect it to be on a list. <laughs> no, I, I like that one. I just, you, you, you convinced Liz that I hate it and that upsets me. I like that game. Yeah, I don't know why you hate it so much. Uh, uh, number nine, I put Grapple Dog. Uh, okay. <laughs> number eight was the Mario Rabbids. Oh, wow. I might switch eight and nine, but it doesn't matter because I really only do top five. Right. <laughs> Uh, seven, Jelly Car. Uh, I like that game a lot. It's, what? It's, it's, a car car? Made of it's a car made of jelly. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess it's self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, six, it barely got beaten out. Uh, this was the only Nintendo game that got this high, uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Oh, yeah, yeah, you really did like that one. I, I did, but it didn't make top five. Dun, All dun. right, number five, Heck Deck, another indie game you've never heard of. You're right. Uh, it's a it's a bullet hell combined with a deck builder, and it's really cool. 
That sounds hard. It is. Well, okay, so how it works is when you're not moving, the bullets stop. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's yeah. neat. Uh, number four, a game you have heard of, Cult of the Lamb. Oh man, I still haven't played it. It's so it's really good. Uh, number four, three, uh, Franken, a game you haven't heard of. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's a it was a free RPG that came out, and it's kind of like a parody of RPGs. I just okay. I really liked it. Yeah. Uh, I might bring it for Robbie to play at some point. It's like an hour. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, two was Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, and number one was Tunic. All right. Uh, was okay. a, this was a really good year for games, though, I'm going to say. And I missed a lot. I didn't play Elden Ring. Uh, don't yell at me. <laughs> um, Elden Ring's good. Elden Ring's real good. I didn't, might be didn't play God of War. I didn't play God of War. God so. of War might be my number one. I think it might be, actually. Yeah. What else did I play that was even new last year, man? Tunic. Tunic, yeah. Yeah. Tunic's real good. I think that would probably be top five for you. I don't know. I'd have to look at like I'd have to like really sit down and think. I didn't. I never sat down and thought about like what are my what were my games really. That's it. I started doing it in like 2016, and it's just kind of fun. Yeah. 2016 yeah. was my worst list I'd made because it was like I had like a top two, and then I just <laughs> added three other games. <laughs> 2016, I put Hollow Knight in it, and I hadn't even gotten past an hour in Hollow Knight. <laughs> Night classy. That's yeah. Class. And like, I don't even know if I put the holiday that high up nowadays. I would have to see all the games in and out of Yada. Yeah. yeah. Um, Holiday's cool. I just never got into it. Yeah, fair, fair. There's there's multiplayer mods out for it now, so maybe that would help me. That'd be cool, actually. Yeah, but it goes up to like 16, so maybe we just Jeez. do a multiplayer stream where <laughs> V, you, and Robbie all play Hollow Knight. Maybe. Um, E, up to you. You can do one more level, or we can call it. No, I'll do one more. Get us to the, like like two thirty. Oh, it's, and it's a it's like a race one, and these are always fun. Oh yeah. All right. But yeah, just like Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I would definitely say last year was a really good year for games, though. I feel like last year I played like a lot of a lot of like multiplayer stuff with people. I feel That's like that fair. was like a big year for multiplayer stuff for me. Was you beat it takes two finally. Yeah, that that counts as this year, I think, though, beating I guess. That game's great. It's a really good, man, it's a really good game. All the gameplay in that is super, super fun. Yeah. Uh, ending is real dumb, but... It's, yeah, it's that's fine. I mean, you and... <laughs> I mean, me and D played it and had a blast. I bet that one's a lot more fun with, like, your wife. <laughs> like I mean... Someone, you, I don't know. It went through stretches, man. It's... <laughs> You guys were gonna get divorced like in the game. Yeah, I mean, it was like, well, just fucking jump on the extra sketches, fucking do the thing. <laughs> yeah, that that game. Because uh, like, so you want to say like, just do the thing, but then like, you we're start married, a so I can't just yell at like, do the thing, like and I would like a friend. <laughs> you also start finding a funny thing to mess around with though, and Liz would call you out on it immediately. Yeah, actually, I would, I, uh, <laughs> she would, like, constantly try and, like, go through the story, and I was like, ooh, Liz, toy! <laughs> eh? Yeah, that game's good, story ends really weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. It's a little, a little messy and confusing of the ending, I don't know what they're yeah. trying to go for. I mean, for that guy's, like, oh, no, I'm running out of time. You got it, you got it. For that guy's like what, like second game basically? Um, yeah, I think so. Cause the one they did before that was a way out. Yeah, which was I heard was fun but very flawed. Yes, fun, but but flawed. I think it was the test subject for what it takes to eventually got, got to yeah. be. I mean, I just appreciate him making it. Like they don't multiplayer games like cooperative like that aren't really made anymore. No, and the fact that like it forces split screen no matter what, even if you're playing online, I think is really cool. Actually, I like it a lot. Yeah, that helps the experience, honestly. Yeah, it really does. It makes you feel like you're like really there with the person, yeah. even when you're not. And I love the like, uh, cause like you know, people like indistinctly just want to be like, oh, just make the two players do the same thing. But no, you like you have to actually cooperate because you have different objectives all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's, it's done really well. 
Yeah. Like, I don't agree with that winning game of the year, but I get it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I agreed with that either, but... <laughs> like, I, I get why it did. Well, also because Game Awards are show, shows are a joke, but, you know. <laughs> well, it's fine. That's... They're there to entertain the folks. They're there to And for, for me world to premieres. <laughs> They're there for me to be like, I haven't played any of these games. And then my weird <laughs> luck causes some guy to say Bill Clinton's his rabbi. Y yeah. Or Will Smith to slap somebody. I'm going to need you there for the Oscars, E. I, I, uh, I just don't like award shows, though. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. I'll give you crackers and stuff. I always am down for food, but, like, I feel like I just add nothing <laughs> to the conversation. Game shows, like, I also don't know much of the games, but I, like, play video games and know the <laughs> basics of video games. It's true. It's true. Uh, I don't... I don't... I don't know if the Oscars will be very entertaining this year. I mean, the only, like, uh, everything everywhere is, like, the only thing I know... That I like expect to do much. Gonna be real disappointed if that doesn't get a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna, it's gonna fucking get robbed. I guarantee you. That's yeah, what happens yeah. every time. They're, they're not white, for one. Yeah. That's always a tis advantage in the Oscars. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Mia Goth is gonna get robbed, or she already did get robbed. She didn't even get a nomination. Jeez. She uh played Pearl in the movie Pearl. She also played Pearl in the movie X. Um, oh, she man. was supposed to get Best Pearl, and they didn't give it to her? Didn't even, not even nominated. Not even nominated for Best Pearl. That's messed up. Um, uh, no, like, she puts in just a fucking astounding performance in Pearl. It's like a six-minute monologue, and it's just slowly you see, like, emotions destroying her. But uh, she's never going to get a nomination, because... So. Because what? It was. It's like a real fucked-up horror movie. So uh, she was never going to get a nomination. I mean, that's always the thing. It's like, uh, how do you even, like, I I know you don't like when I say this. It's sometimes kind of clear that the voting doesn't, like, actually determine the movies or anything. Yeah, especially with the Oscars. It's been very proven that many times they, they'll, like, give it to whoever. They don't even care. They'll, like, give it to their niece or nephew to vote. Yeah. Like, they... I mean, I... Especially that fucking animation one pisses me off so much because they don't even tr act like they don't even like pretend that they care yeah. like the other movies. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You are right. The only thing that we can be guaranteed of is Guillermo del Toro is going to get best animated picture. I don't even know about that, honestly. He, he has to. He has but to. Do you think they even watched the Pinocchio? No. <laughs> they might for, they might mix it up. They'll give it to the Disney Pinocchio. I would be so mad. I don't even think that's actually nominated. It better not be. I'm going to look right now. Because I actually have not seen the full list of all nominations for all categories. Everything Everywhere is nominated for a bunch, I think. Okay, for Best Picture, All Quiet on the Western Front. Immediately think this is stupid. Avatar The Way of Water. Shouldn't win any. Uh, it should win best special effects, if anything. Yeah, it should win best special effects. Uh, Banshees of Inisherin, which I would argue that th that absolutely deserves to maybe even win. Uh, uh, Elvis, which again seems weird because everybody seemed to agree that that movie's a fever dream. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once. The Fablemans uh, should probably win. Are, if not the one you liked. Um, Top Gun Maverick, like what? No. That shouldn't win anything. That shouldn't no. be in it. <laughs> that shouldn't even win Best Tom Cruise Movie this year. Um, Triangle of Sadness and then Women Talking. Um, let's see. Best Original Screenplay. Banshee and Sharon. Is everywhere in that? Yep, Everything Everywhere is nominated for I, that. I feel like that, maybe... I would have to know about Banshees of Ed Sheeran or whatever. <laughs> the Banshees of Ed Sheeran. <laughs> what um, is it? Banshees of Ed Sheeran. Oh. Um, honestly, like, Banshees of Ed Sheeran or 
Everything Everywhere All at Once is nominated in almost every category. Good. It should probably be. Wow, like, yeah. They, they, they touch it. One of those touch at least every category. Okay. Everything Everywhere All at Once actually has Best Supporting Actress twice. Nice. I think that's fair, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them did really good in their roles. Not... Uh, but everything, Everywhere, All at Once, and Banshee of Inisherin aren't even nominated for Best Cinematography, which I think is ridiculous. What? That is ridiculous. <laughs> That's stupid. All right, let me guess, Avatar's in it? Uh, no. Oh, okay. All Quiet on the Western mm -hmm. Front, Bardo, Elvis, Empire of Light, and Tar. Elvis? Why, Elvi Why is Elvis the one they're going with? <laughs> I have no idea, man. It's just the music movie this year, I guess. I don't know. Um, oh, here you go. Best Animated Feature Film, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On, Puss in Boots, The Sea Beast, and Turning Red. Uh, man. I mean, Turning I'll Red's be not bad. I'll be real upset if Marcel with the Shell wins. I've never heard of it. It was like a YouTube thing, and then it was like a movie. I don't know. Uh, so. Um, I, you know, my actual guess... Turning red. I bet it will, yeah. I think that's what's going to win. Disney. Because it's Disney. Yeah. Um, the maybe Puss in Boots, because recency bias in DreamWorks is like the only other one that they know about. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> and then I I love the, the Pinocchio del Toro. I might give it to the Puss in Boots, though. But wow. it's hard to say. Because, wow. again, like, what are we comparing them, though? <laughs> like... They are both animated. Exactly. That's what I hate about the thing. <laughs> Damn it. What is... This part I... sucks. I mean, I'm... I'm getting impatient, unfortunately. Um, Best film editing. Banshee's in a Sheeran. Elvis. Thing everywhere all at once. Tar. Top Gun. I feel everything everywhere all at once super yeah. deserves that. I would say it deserves the cinematography too, but they disagree apparently. Yeah, apparently. Oh. Uh, best original song. I already know "Not to Not to" from RRR is gonna win. Um, Bollywood movie that got tons and tons of attention with awards this year. Okay. Um. Let's see. Best costume design. Black Panther, Elvis, Babylon, Everything Everywhere, Miss Harris Goes to Paris. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Everything Everywhere should get it. Yeah. Like, well, hands down. Okay, maybe if you, like... Black no. Panther, honestly. I don't know. Could like, do it. It might win. I just feel like everything <laughs> should be the one to win. Because they put what? a lot of work into a lot of the designs of the characters, especially in the final act. They do. Also, I'm thinking Elvis is probably going to win that one. I'll be so pissed because he probably just fucking looks like Elvis. Yeah, yeah, but I bet he wins. I bet Elvis wins that one. Um, I'm already getting production. mad about the Oscars, and I'm not even at it yet. <laughs> um, best production design. Uh, Avatar's in there on that one. So it probably wins. Yeah. Um. Best animated short film. See if I've I never heard any. of any of these. The boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Mm. The flying sailor. Nope. Ice merchants. Nope. My year of dicks. No. It's actually what it is. I don't. I don't know. I, I'm not, I, know I know. I, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, an ostrich told me the world is fake, and I think I believe it. Oh. No. That's it. That's all of them. I haven't heard of them. I don't know how they choose those, though. I don't know. They just pick them out of a fucking top hat, man. I don't know. Um, Best sound. Avatar's nominated on that one. Top Gun Maverick is. The Batman. I would either give it to the Batman or Top Gun on this one. I don't have any much good things to say about Top Gun, but the sound is good. The sound is good. You feel like you're in a jet or whatever, probably. Makes you feel like Top Gun. It makes you feel like you're a gun. Um, best visual effects. Mm -hmm. 
All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Batman, Black Panther, and Top Gun Maverick. I'm I would be wait, shocked wait, wait, if wait. Avatar Hang on. doesn't win. Everything yeah. everywhere all at once is not in best visual effects. It is not in best visual effects. What the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, um I bet Avatar has to win that one. I would be probably. shocked if it didn't win that one at least. I won't be pissed if it wins Best Picture, because it's not. No. I I mean, everything should win that. <laughs> I would give it to Everything I mean, Everywhere All at Once or Banshees. Yeah. Banshees I, is I haven't good. seen Banshees, so I can't say, obviously. It's real good. No. Aww. Um, Banshees of Inishirin is uh, by the same writer-director of Three Billboards. Okay. Are you going to bring it, you think? Maybe eventually. It's a lot. Movie's a lot. Not... I wouldn't say as much as Ban oh, as Three Billboards. Billboards. Yeah. Um, I liked it a lot, man. I liked it a whole lot. You know what I just thought about? It's been a while since we've had a movie we just disagreed about. It has been, actually. I guess I should change that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I can if I just bring an animated movie. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have much movies that I've seen, obviously. Uh, I don't know. Even, like, the last animated thing that we did, we both pretty well, much Well, it was Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, still. <laughs> counts as an animated movie. I'm not saying it's not animated. I'm saying that's kind of, like, super artsy <laughs> in a bunch. <laughs> In a good way, but like. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I actually. Yeah. It's been a while. Do we need to start Bell Month already? <laughs> yep, it's time. <laughs> it might be time. I, I really think that's going to be a lot of fun. What was that one again? Uh, Beauty and the Beast. All the, the original oh, oh, the yeah, live yeah, yeah. action remake and the anime remake that me and D saw. Yeah, yeah, actually, that would be very funny. <laughs> and I think we will probably do disagree on it, but who knows? I can't say. Maybe? I can't say yet. Yeah. Gonna Google our own podcast here. There's gonna be one for sure that we're gonna agree on, and that it's that that the, <laughs> the anime one's dumb. I, I would probably, be really yeah. surprised if we don't end up with that opinion, all of us. Let's see, I'll go back to episode 100 mm -hmm. and see if we disagreed on anything from there. What are we at? 140? 144 comes out Thursday. Okay. All right, 100 was Nosferatu. We disagreed that on was, that one. That was last January. That was a year ago. Okay. Um, Dear Evan Hansen. We disagreed on that one. Crossroads. We kind of agreed on that one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um... Then we had, is this a movie? We disagreed on that one. So, yeah. Um, Antlers, which we disagree, disagree on that one, I think. Kinda. Kind of, yeah. Um, Cloverfield. Uh, no, we were pretty in agreement, I think, on that one. Yeah, Kid Detective. We were in agreement. Murder on the Orient Express. Agreement. Suspiria. Agreement. We disagreed on that one. What? Did What? Did we? I didn't like it. I know you didn't like it. I thought it was fine. Oh. Oh, I guess. And Robbie also thought it was fine. <laughs> well, it's bad. Um... <laughs> you just, like, retroactively made it yeah, yeah, where we yeah, all agreed uh -huh. with you? <laughs> yeah, I did, man. In my head, I just thought we were all like, yeah, the movie sucks ass. Um... Gladiator. Uh... I think I we were around the same on that one, actually. I mean, Robbie liked it, but I think he recognized a lot of the flaws it had. Yeah. I'm just going for it. I'm so tired of this yeah. level. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Green Knight, which we disagreed about that, I think. I wasn't there. Or, oh, you didn't You didn't watch that one, actually. Um, <laughs> Seven Samurai. Yeah, he hated that one. We disagreed about Seven Samurai. Kind of. Um, kind of. That's a kind Kung of. Pao. We agreed. Hell House. Kind of? No, no. Hell House, we all agreed. I, th I think we all agree it's fun, but not, like, amazing. Yeah. Um, the Mist. Uh, uh, disagreed, disagreed, I'd say. <laughs> That's putting a little light. Yeah, best of the best. Kind of agreed with the caveat of, like, 
Robbie definitely was like, yeah, you know, like, I just like this one a lot. I recognize yeah. it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Top Gun. Agreed. Agreed. I did not uh, watch Maverick with you guys. No. Silence of the Lambs. Agreed. Hell or High Water. Agreed, I believe. Agreed, but I was definitely more positive. Yeah. World of Tomorrow disagreed. We did disagree a lot on that one, actually. Uh, Jaws, it was I think animated, disagreed. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. uh, Jaws uh. kind of disagree. I I think I just didn't have a, the reverence you guys had for it mostly. Right, which is fair. Uh, Klaus. Uh, we agreed. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. I. We, I don't know. <laughs> we technically disagreed, but I think I won you over in the end. Yeah, I think I think so. Um, Fat Man. We all agreed, we agreed on that one. Um, Christmas Vacation. Kinda disagreed. Kinda didn't. Yeah. Um. You weren't there for Afterlife. No. I wasn't there for Mononoke. No. You weren't Spirit there for Spirit. Um, you weren't there for Dragon Ball Super. It, I think we agreed on. We agreed on that one. It Chapter Two, I think we were pretty agree in agreement on. Kind of agree. I think I was a little harder than you guys were on it, but. Yeah, everything everywhere all at once. Obviously. Is he agreed? agreed on that one. 1917. I mean, that was just kind of my bias. I didn't even yeah. say it was bad. It's just like, yeah, it's just not my movie. Yeah, Scary Godmother. <laughs> Technically, I we don't, did agree. We did agree, technically. <laughs> uh, Psycho. Uh, I I was kind of in the middle on that one, so like yeah, kinda... you were take it or leave it. Pan's Labyrinth. I think we kind of agreed. I think we did agree on that one. Over the Garden Wall, we agree. We agree. Um, Night House. Kinda. We kinda, kinda agreed. Of, I had an issue with it, but like it, I still liked it. Yeah, Mitchells versus the Machines. We disagreed on that one. Kind of. did. Also, it's you, animated. You, yeah. <laughs> I, I would say that's another kind of, though, because, like, you just didn't like certain parts of it, but you still thought it was, like, a fun movie. Yeah. Riding in Cars with Boys. Kind, we they, did disagree they, on we, that one, because you were a lot did. harder. I was way harder on that one. Uh, planes, Trains, Automobiles. I think there was I, some disagreement. I, I kind of disagreed, because I think there was... I thought I felt like there was too much. Um... Christmas story. We we agreed. <laughs> it's yeah. nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. Um whole lot of the end of the year stuff. I think this is our biggest end of the year we've been. Yeah. So I guess um, Three Billboards we've... agreed. Yeah. Curve of Fireflies agreed, and then Batman. Man, we've only done three real episodes this year. Yeah. Well four with the one. Well yeah, four I guess, because the one that comes out. That's crazy though. It feels like I mean it's February. We're, we're short yeah. on content. No, it's February. That's four for four weeks of January, really. Huh. Weird. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what was it before Christmas Story? Because I think that was the one we disagreed on. Mitchell's versus Machines. Yeah. So that's the last one we disagreed on. So, so it's, it's been like three months. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. <that's... laughs> All right. Well. Yeah. We got to start disagreeing again. Yeah, I'll bring some stuff. Don't worry. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, uh, we should talk about this not on stream, but <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, I am actually. Give me a second. Don't look at that. Where's my mouse? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the don't look at that. <laughs> There's nothing bad in it, but don't look at it. Just yeah. morally. <laughs> uh, I am going to shill real quick. Okay, shill away. Uh, oh, that's the the go down. <laughs> All right. Uh, I work on this game called Vet VR. You sure uh, do. We're part of the Steam Fest. Uh, there's a broadcast right now. You can watch. Uh, it's pre-recorded. Just a heads up. <laughs> um, I have been working on that, and it has a demo, and uh, will be coming out soon. Um. Even if you guys don't have VR, uh, wish lists do help a lot. So, uh, just giving you guys a heads up. That's what I do in my free time, and it's my job. Your free time. <laughs> my free time of my job. <laughs> no, this is my job. The my work's my free time. Uh, yeah, I'm part of this team. 
Uh, it's it's a it's a fun game, if I do say so myself. I don't have VR, so I haven't had got yeah. to play it. But uh, yeah, so oh, that's very loud. Sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> VR. Uh, it's a new trailer, apparently. So cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but other than that, I'll get that out of here. But uh, let's go back to the title screen. Uh, all right. Fun, fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, and I, any game we could just talk is fun. Yeah, yeah. That's that's always a good part because then it's just like a podcast, but then there's stuff in the background. Yeah. It, these streams are like a TikTok video, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> thanks everyone for coming out here. <laughs> you know, it's such a trip. I know. It's a long <laughs> journey. Uh, if you guys want to get a hold of us, you can do so at our link tree, l i n k t r e slash l o i p. Gives you a link to all our social medias, uh, our podcast tomorrow, new episode. Uh, yes. I forget already. <laughs> Bullet train. <laughs> Bullet train. Uh, good episode. Good episode. Yes. I think our energy was like super yeah, high and chaotic we were on that. Ready. One. We were. Woo! I, I told <laughs> a joke. It was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, so go ahead and check all that stuff out if you guys want. Uh, please wish list Fat VR or take a look at it at least. Uh, I appreciate it. I I don't show my stuff a lot, but <laughs> um, <laughs> that one's my job and I need it to live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, thanks, to food, thanks, thanks everyone for chatting, hanging out. Um, I'll be back next week with more Super Sammy Roll. And Robbie yeah. will be back Saturday with some more Anodyne. Yes. Uh, All so, right. Yeah. Catch you guys Sweet. later. Have a good night, Bye. Bye.